Okay, I think it's all good. Just need to wait. I think it's all good. Oh my god. Okay. Alrighty. Hello everyone. Welcome to um, today's stream. Now, just to let you know first, um, my mic not, might not be working the whole time. So, if someone can, like, mess, they can, like, say in chat if my mic's not working, that'll be really, that'll be hugely appreciated. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna check right now if it's, if the mic is all it good. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so it might not be working. It can, and if someone in chat can tell me if it's not working, that'll be really appreciated. Because half the time I have no clue what's happening. Um, because I don't have OBS, so it won't show if the audio is picking it up. So, I kind of did, or I checked everything, if my wheel's all good, and it is. And this is what we're going to be doing for the whole stream. We're going to be doing Breaking Point, which is the new stream for F1 2021. It's really, really nice. I have seen clips of it. Let me class me like 30 minutes of like, like the first 30 minutes of it. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it is... I, I think it'll take like four something hours or six hours or something. So we're probably going to be here for a very, very long time if I want to actually um, complete this in one stream. But we'll see. So I guess we're going to the breaking point now. But actually, let's do... Um, I don't know. I'll probably maybe do... I'll probably do challenging. If I really want to, so I'll probably maybe do challenging. If I need to, I can probably go, I can go hard. Uh, I'll just do challenging, I guess. So we, here we get to select a team, so we can do Alpha Tari, Aston Martin, Alpha Romeo, Haas, or Williams. I'm thinking of either doing maybe Aston Martin or Alpha Tari. Um, but I'm going to, I'm probably going to Aston Martin, so I'll do Aston Martin. Um, let me just check all the assist. Um, so these are all my assists. I actually don't know if you, I actually don't know if you can actually change, um, the difficulty. Hopefully you can. If you can't, well, fuck. <laughs> That's going to be pretty bad. And simulation settings, yeah, realistic, a manual, I'm doing do manual. I guess, yeah, I'll do realistic. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully I can, um, yeah. Hopefully it's good, because I think it's pretty good. Let's start it now. With the 2019 F2 Championship coming down to the final race of the season, young British driver Aiden Jackson is looking to etch his name into the history books. So, I'm actually going to be an F2 this time uh, for the prologue. And then I think there'll be like a lot of chapters in F1, in the F1 season. So, yeah. Let's get into it as I already pressed A. There we go.
Okay. Um, so how much I cost? I don't actually, I actually can't remember. Jesus. Wait. What the fuck? I actually can't remember. Oh, you son of a bitch. Just gonna just dive down the inside of surgery. Set to come out? No, fuck you. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know how much it costs. I can't, I actually can't remember. Is the closest view to first person you can get to this, or you can go into. Um, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you can adjust the difficulty. Okay, cool. Um, you can change the camera. It's just that I haven't assigned it. I can't pull. I need to restart that. But now let me. I'm just gonna check the generic settings. Um, so you can't. Yeah. So right. Just need to edit that. Just need to have a look. Yeah. Break and resist. Simple also bound to clutch, yeah, whatever. Um, can I not actually do that? Bruh. <laughs> oh, whatever. Just, I guess I just do X. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, there we go. Jesus. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm ex- what? I don't understand this. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let me um first do this and then we'll get back into it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh Oh, this guy changes. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll just keep it to this camera. But yeah, you can change your cameras. So if I go to character customizations, you could do um, TV pod, TV pod offset, next chase, far chase, uh, cockpit, nose, alt, nose, wing. Yeah, you can basically do those ones. That's all you can really do. That's all the cameras that you can do for this. Okay. Um, I need to restart this. I'm gonna be restarting that because I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, stop cutting now. Come on, Xbox. And, hang on. I need a on screen display. I hate doing this. Uh. Where is the... Wait, I don't know what to do. Hang on. You go to Twitch. Good. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so bad now. Oh, bloody Christ's sake. Oh, okay, at least I got a flashback. Okay. 
Okay, so I up a move on Surgeon, so I have to come out. I dive bomb him. Jesus. <laughs> Spinella, man. What team are you with? Uh, this is Colin. This is very, very different compared to the, the last game, oh, F1 2020, so, oh god. Come on, come on, Carl, let's speed up. I'm not used to F2 cars, so I may be really, really bad here. Oh yeah, that guy went wide. Anything, give me the space. cars. Gearings are just so weird. Might be getting used to them now. Got a pretty good exit, the last corner. <laughs> I hate these cars. Oh, better or worse than F1 2020? I'll probably say better. Like, I think the, like, they definitely have, um, the, oh god. Like, I may be really, really bad now, but that's just because of my uses of the new handling model. So I think they have a new, like, a completely new handling model now. <laughs> like, I'm... Wheels definitely... different, in my opinion. But... I don't know about control or keyboard. No idea about those ones. Come on, Kyoto. Contact with Yoto. Like they redid really like the damage model as well. Jesus. They really, yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, like they redid really the whole damage model. Which is pretty nice. I'm trying to remember who was who was Carlin then. I actually can't remember, but Pause the auto. I'm gonna go around the outside, I guess. There we go. Down the chicane. Hopefully, I don't pull it up. Yes, yeah, so like, I can't really comment on control and keyboard, but the wheel looks sound. It's. Feels a bit different. I still only like an F2. Oh god. I tried like uh, the Mercedes F1 car in Bahrain in a time trial. It was pretty good. I quite liked it. But yeah.
Jesus. That was close. That is the prologue all complete now. That is the prologue. Today. Oh, I should have actually gone off Here Atari, God damn it! The man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Number won the F2 driver's championship, Aiden Jackson has now secured a seat in F1 and is preparing and is preparing to take his first steps into the world most prestigious motorsport series. This is I think 2020? I'm gonna guess, I don't actually know. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will. It hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell. It's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream I'll ask you a question after Steve this. Casper. As it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here? and to your fans, who are calling you the new Devon Butler. The new Devon Butler. I'm alright with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did with the F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. Okay. <laughs> Make the leap to F1. Ah. Uh, yeah, look at these socials. Um, look at that. Look at that knob at the top here, yeah. Matty F1, Matty WTF1, uh, got Natalie Pinkham over there, streamer tip. Oh. Hello? Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian, 
Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Now, you're hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favor, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Okay. Uh, so you got the guys that got social media, you got Jimmy Broadbent over there. The real DCF one. It's like, yeah. DC. I have another core. Oh my god. Hello? Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. I'm just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I see you, mate. Oh, yeah, just want to ask you a question. I think Death 2021 is possibly more. We'll drive a base. We'll race inside. I'm so That's not your question. That's in my Aiden. opinion. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's that. Gonna look at the emails now. Uh, yeah, there's Jeff Nielsen. Uh, Jeff Nielsen, actually. Good old Jeff. Let's have a look at the... <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> bruh, okay, and then, rewards, flying rewards, what are these rewards, oh, is that literally it, that's all the awards, bruh. Or history, okay. So I think this is definitely... This is, um, definitely a lot better than the, um, the Net for 2020. It's pretty nice. I quite like it. Okay, let's go to the race now. Oh, it's actually mid-race. With the world watching and expectations high at racing point, F1 rookie Aiden Jackson appears to be holding his own in his maiden race in Melbourne with the possibility of points finish. He keeps he keeps focus on the race in, in front of him. Okay. Practically quite excited enough for this. Alright, let's advance. I did press A. Okay, there we go. Ricardo's actually didn't crash at the start. Oh, that corner is so much better. Oh, Ricardo, move! Russell up in 12th place, bro. Cutting our way through the pack. Is Butler in the Alpha Romeo? Oh, 
good old butler. I just cut the corner. <laughs> that was a disgusting corner cup. We don't talk about that. Jesus. <laughs> I am actually terrible at this game, I just want to say. terrible. That's a terrible line. I had such a terrible, terrible line coming to that corner. Holy fuck. <laughs> I think they are used to this whole thing again. There we go. Bump there. 
much. Jeff, you should not be you you should not be happy about that. Because the because the teammates collide on Norris. Cutscenes in this game is that hard. That they're actually really, really nice. I quite like them. Talking that much and just concentrating. Serious? Oh my god. Oh, that corner. I always have problems in that chicane. In every F1 game, every time I always have problems in that corner. How much? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not normally this bad. For oh, fuck's sake, I hate that corner. I think it's just also because I have um, overtake mode on, or so. I think so. Do I have it on? Yes, I do. Whatever the fuck. There we go. Oh god. So I need to get used to everything. Goodbye, Arbon. Okay, I may need to turn up the difficulty. Curbs are much more lethal as well. Like, really, really lethal. Christ. Jesus. Come on, Gasly, move. Just gonna chill now. 
not just, not really kind of just overuse it. Okay, that also works, I guess. Oh my god. I'm on Gaza right now badly. Do not touch the grass, I swear. <laughs> I know the game that I'm going to be playing. Maybe, I'll probably maybe be streaming tomorrow, but I don't know. We just have to wait and see. Jesus. <laughs> Almost literally, this will be on my YouTube channel. So if you want to watch the full VOD, you can watch it if you want. But I'm actually quite enjoying this game, even though I suck. <laughs> I've been just spinning out this whole time. Ah, oh, I went wide. Turning point was a terrible, terrible, appalling everything. Oh, yep, there I go to the cross. I guess we'll try and get fifth. Fifth and sixth. See if we get both of them. I'm do oh, yeah, I'm too far to do dive bombs. I just had a great exit, but look, that was too slow. Lewis Hamilton wins the race. All signs locked up. And going the last corner. Wait, can I got fourth? What? I killed signs. <laughs> I killed signs. <laughs> I killed signs on the last corner. Oh no. I'm so sorry, signs. A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia, at The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver, Aidan Jackson, settles in. 
especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've Terrible. seen Bourne from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. I'm so sad that we can't have the new configurations. After performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. I don't know why we're watching this, like, the podium. I, got, I actually don't know why. <laughs> God, they still haven't changed the trophies. The trophy for Australia is not like that. It's a bloody, like, it's a circle. It's a wheel, I think. Isn't it supposed to be a wheel? I don't know. But I haven't really approved on that, haven't they? Come on, Cody, is and EA. And also, I think for Emila, Portimao, and Jetta, I think they're an awkward incident between Devin Butler and his own teammate, Cass Baker, and Merritt Jackson's maiden out in F1. Um, Casper, listen. I don't know what happened. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh. Butler. Uh, I'm Devon. I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Racing Point was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Oh, what a dick. Absolute dick. Uh, team Tussle, yeah, whatever. Definitely. Um, oh, God. He's calling me. Oh, Brian. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I thought he is like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. The Casper? <laughs> yes, yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. Wow. Alrighty. Emails, let's have a look. <laughs> Great to see you bringing some points in a maiden F1 season. That's quite the achievement. Congratulations. And now he talks about Casper. Um, what is this? Interior photo shoot. Hmm. Sasika Mills. At least it's not, um, fuck's her name. Um, 
What's her name? Uh, agent of like 26 into 2020. What's her name? It's like Emily? Emma. Emma. There we go. Emma. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, I don't care about this rewards. I don't care. I'm just gonna just do them anyway. I'm just gonna scare that because I don't care. Let's go to the next chapter. Uh, Chinese Grand Prix. The world of most people moves fast and with focus quickly shifting to the Chinese Grand Prix. Aiden Jackson and Racing Point are eager to find form heading into the fourth race of the 2020 season that <coughs> got cancelled. Um, but that's all right. At least we can play it on in game and not and yeah, just playing in game and just pretend it's real life. Either we can't really, but that's all right. Let's get into it. I'll probably maybe do like the full story, but I don't know. It may take a long ass time. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aiden Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Croft. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumor in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's bashed his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. Okay, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. It's a coming out fucking battle. Jesus Christ. Also, I'll be honest, that was kind of ja um, Jackson's fault. He <laughs> swerved right into Casper. He knew he was coming down there. Shit. <laughs> Even I can't recover from it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh yeah, I just lost Norris. Great. Try and catch up to him. Come on, Norris. God, they got rid of that stupid bollard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cody's. Fuck you, Norris. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he, didn't he? I, apparently, he got mugged as well today, so it's also a of him. Glad he's okay. It's great to hear that he's okay after that. Scary, scary time. Should have wrote like a lot later, not early. Fucking throttle. Come on, power. Turn on the power. Jesus, I thought I had more downforce. I'm so used to having like a custom car setup, not like a like a plain setup like this one. <laughs> I'm so used to that. Jesus, Ocon. I was not expecting Ocon to do that. Fuck. Oh yeah, there I go into the wall. Oh, wait, what the hell? My wheel? My wheels? What? Hang on. I need to restart my wheel. Oh my god. That is so weird. <laughs> my wheel just like... <laughs> okay. Okay. Just restarting it. 
That was weird. Okay. I think it's all good now. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, cool. I get comfortable now. Fuck no. Come on, car. Oh, come on, me, actually. There we go. Russell, get out of the way. Jesus Christ. I come and got held up a lot by Magnuson. Oh god, this is not gonna go well. I'm trying to find room. Casper! I don't know why I turned off DRS. I have a dumb thing to do, I'll be honest. I can't even turn. Oh my god, Butler's up in eighth place. Oi! See if they, let's see if I can get any more places up the road. I could definitely get Albon, maybe also Butler. I can definitely turn up the difficulty as well. <laughs> Um, okay. The car just shifted up from 5th to 7th, I swear. I swear that just happened. Bye, Arbon. Oh my god. I love how like monotone Jeff is as well during a cutscene. It's kind of funny to me. Come here, Butler, you little shit. Oh, I got a little loose, I saw. Dancer on the. Uh, I think he bounced on the curb. I am the next George Russell. Put him a little bit wide just for good measure. <laughs> I was better off to sixth place. Come on, that's unrealistic last year. Other uh, than Turkey. But uh, that race, how was it? I uh, like the play's like still OP around that corner, around that bend. Like in like the last couple of games, that that part of the track has been super super OP for like for the players, not really for the AI. Just wondering, that's all. I'm gonna shift up. Why did I not shift up?
Okay, that's what I'm gonna get. I'm not, I can't, I, I'm, I'm just gonna just save here in seventh place. That's all right with me. Just gonna chill from now on. Really push. Maybe like actually in a few like when we get more and more into the story, I'll probably turn up the difficulty to expert. Maybe I should have actually done it beforehand, anyways. Whatever. But hey, I'll be honest, it's a pretty good, pretty good game. I quite like it. I think it's definitely an improvement from F1 2020, especially now with the story mode now integrating it. Okay, yeah, so that part is definitely still 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 an OP part for the car or well, for the player. I think whoever has wheel, uh, yeah, because I think that part. Definitely like still OP. You can it's like a full like 180, 360 degrees, so you could just that really helps you around this bend as well and the bend before the long back stretch. So Yeah. Oh my god, brakes. Come on. Try and do some tuning. Yeah. There we go. Far is oh there okay. The Hamilton one oh Bottas okay. I can just bring the car home. I don't really care about sixth, seventh is alright with me. Okay, seventh place for Aiden Jackson. I wish you can actually control the in lab, that'd be really, really nice. Well, plenty to digest there, and a little bit ominous seeing the two Racing Point teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yes. Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. What is, why did he say it like that? <laughs> so after a magnificent Jesus. race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Okay, I'm just going to skip that because no one fucking cares about the podium celebration. No one cares about that, I'll be honest. No one. Following an eventful Chinese Grand Prix, tensions are on the rise at racing point as Jackson and Ackerman again make contact with one another, following an aggressive overtake manoeuvre by the veteran. I feel like it was also kind of Jackson's fault, because he just swerved on him. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper. Come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper! Ackerman! Mom! Cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now? No. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like 
characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackland. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. He never stood a chance with him. Oh. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. <laughs> Chin up. Dick. Uh. Oh, they clash once again. Yeah, fuck, I don't care. Um. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say, well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well, maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? Will do. Cap. Uh... Okay, some very interesting tweets going on there. Uh... I was expecting Matt to be like, I can drive better, I'm the fastest one in Chinese Grand Prix history. Or whatever. Okay, let's have a look. Um... So, yeah, press release, it made official PW2, yeah, okay, become Aston Martin, fantastic. I'll let you know, evening post race meeting this has been back for three minutes. If you got a look, return to yourself. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. It's mum's birthday next week. Uh, Colin Perry. Who the hell's Colin Perry? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I just don't care about this. I'm just gonna just claim my award. I'm just gonna skip it straight away because no one fucking cares. I'm pressing A, buddy. No? No? Okay. <laughs> French Grand Prix. Okay. The recent series of incidents with his teammate Casper Ackman, both and on, both on and off the track, have merited the start of Aiden Jackson's rookie F1 season. With the French Grand Prix coming up, Jackson is keen to find. The form that brought him so much success in F2. This one I've actually have not seen. I've seen the first two chapters, I've actually not seen this. So, this is actually going to be quite interesting to see what we have to do. It's probably going to be like another incident between us two. It's that time once again, the final moment. Oh, now I'm actually going to lose the race. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, 6 left and 9 right, for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Noor. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive coloured stripes, which are low in grip and highly abrasive. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. 
Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Racing Point underperforming somewhat. The two Racing Point drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for, and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton exciting. lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat, and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz, and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler, and Albon, Jovanadze, Grosjean, George Russell, and Aidan Jackson, Magnussen, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. They got two Dutches, okay. Verstappen and Ackerman. <sighs> Finally. Finally. Yes, I know. Okay, well. I can't really do anything, can I? Because, yeah, so only 13 laps, 15 laps, that's yeah, alright, yeah. It's gonna be a one stopper, it's gonna be softs to mediums, okay. So an actual full race here. Very beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. Okay. Jesus. I've never been this far back in the field. Went a little bit wide there. Feel good now. Power. <laughs> it went from six to eight. I need to back off of Albon, I'm not going to follow him through that. Jesus Christ, Albon! Round the outside. Is there going to be a cutscene? I don't think so though. Oh my god, Gasly. 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 Gasly, Gasly, Gasly! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's dive it down the inside. I'm so glad that doesn't, like, when you do that, that doesn't give you a fucking penalty. They definitely, because <laughs> they're fun 20 and 20. Every single time when I do Paul Ricard, oh my god. Every single time when I do Paul Ricard, it just goes down to shit. It's so bad. Because turn two, you, like, without a doubt, you always pull, you will most likely get a penalty there. Mm -hmm. Just follow Vettel, and slipstream, someone like just die Vettel. Go. I'm on the curb. Well, I need to save my tires, actually. That'll be a great idea, wouldn't it? Fuck. How did I miss that breaking point, I just want to say? Oh, lol. Sorry, my breaking point. I'm so not funny. Uh, come on. Get past Norris, and I'm just gonna chill. Well, I need to need past Ricardo, then I'll chill. I'm not currently be bothered really past Fiat over there. Oh my god, Norris, please, stop blocking the whole fucking track. Jesus! 
Jesus Christ, I had a run. Couldn't turn even. I can't turn even more. But I like how aggressive the AI is, I'll be honest. I mean, it's like I can also pull out my elbows. You look there. Okay, now I'm going to chill. Wait, is there a way just to turn up the difficulty here? Or do I have to turn up the difficulty like later? I don't know, let me have a look. Settings. Okay, so I can turn it up now. Uh. Hmm. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna keep us challenging, and then next one I'm gonna do hard because I want a difficulty. I want the difficulty to be increased because I'm just blitzing past drivers. I'm not really big fan of that. Anley feels so much better. I'll be honest, yeah, it feels so much better. I can get out there and can, I can pass the club, but I don't really want to push my tires. I'm just going to chill for a bit. Because it only says beat, uh, beat both Renault and McLaren drivers. What's gonna happen after this race? Are we gonna be celebrated or what? What's gonna happen? I'll probably, I'll probably also maybe do my team as well. God, poor Ricard is actually so much better to drive now. I don't know why. It was really, really bad like in 2020. And now here in 2021, it's actually really, really nice. I don't know why. It's all because of like the new handling model maybe. And like, the track just feels completely different. Which I really, really like. Fuck. <laughs> Always going a bit wide. Side by side, okay. Now I'm gonna chill. I'm not even gonna push now, I'm just gonna. I can actually maybe catch it to the Red Bull Mercedes, I'm just not going to. I'm so glad. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely turning it up. Because I thought it was just going to be like a lot harder than I expected, but definitely needed to make it a little bit tougher for me. Like, I'm in a freaking racing point. It's going to be Aston Martin. And I'm... Okay. I think EA, or mainly Cardi is obviously, I think, I think they're going to be, uh, I think, so, I think they're currently, desi they're currently designing, well, making Portimao, Imola, and Jetta. so I think they're going to be coming up for a little in the later time, Jesus Christ, I keep missing my freaking Jesus. So I think they're going to be, um, Coming in at a later time. I don't know, like, it's, I don't know if it's gonna be like paid or it's for free, or the, or the, or like they're just gonna update. I have no clue. But I think they will be coming into the game at some point. Just don't know when, obviously. 
Hopefully it's not paid, because if it is paid, I'm gonna actually be pissed. Then I'm just gonna be like, oh, it's EA. The fuck? What's my, what's the wrong with like, audio? Oh, audio. What is wrong with the audio? Oh, okay. Okay. Please work. Oh wait, shit! I did not mean to do that. Whoopsies. <laughs> Uh, when should I pit? How my tie is actually. Mm. I don't know. Yes, I know. I'm not even gonna race them. What are you on about, mate? I'm not even, I'm not even racing the top three guys. I'm just gonna just race my own race. Yes, I may be faster than them, but I'm not going to race them. They're not my main priority. I am... Oh my god, it's happening again. I'm going to... Didn't they change the pit lane? Which is like, it's over here now. Where I swerved to. Is that what the pit lane is now? I can't remember. Yeah, sir, that is a fucking, that is dumb. So glad that does, that, that does not give you a penalty anymore, holy shit. I'm gonna pit on lap, maybe lap 8 or lap 9. Because these tires feel okay. I'm not gonna do a Lewis Hamilton and be like, my tires are dead. Just gonna... I'm just gonna just go at my own pace. And all right. This is in all. This is like realistic as well. It's not simplified. It's realistic. But this is legit. Like what? The actual F1 drivers are running. Oh god. I'm basically I'm basically gonna have like the freshest tires. Hopefully. This works. Okay, Bottas is on the hard tires, okay. What's the flow running on? Mediums, okay. Yeah, that's cool. We didn't collide! Woo! And then like, it'll be like a cut and be like, okay, I need to have a talk with you guys. <laughs> you guys are colliding too much. <laughs> Really collide like twice, is what I can see. Bad, lol. Just gonna be chilling, hitting the next lap. I'll let, my, I'll let Jeff know. And somehow I win this fucking race if I do. Fucking no, that's so unrealistic. It's gonna be the most unrealistic thing you've ever seen. Yes, yeah, yeah, see, look, Bottas is already catching up to me. I think I'm like the last driver to pit. That's fantastic. I can't even break. Why 
does Porokar feel so good now? Am I going to come out fourth place? Okay, that's fine with me. Just gonna tell them, box in this lap, box in this lap. The main goal is just to get in front of Leclerc. I don't know how long the piss, like you lose time on a pit stop here on Poricard, but I think it's a lot. My Poricard feels so much better now. Why am I saying this? I hate this track, but it's actually, it's actually so good now. How much time? Oh, okay. Are we actually up to third? Okay. We're gonna. I can't really be bothered just racing for my. I'm actually gonna let the staff in by. Second there? Okay, so, so okay, so basically at least 20 seconds. Okay. That's basically what it is, so that's okay. Oracle's a very easy circuit just to get used to, I'll be honest. So you lose 20 seconds. Oh shit. Shut up! Shut, shut up, Davison. I don't care. <laughs> Let me do that right again. <laughs> I did not know where the pit limiter was. That's alright. At least I can... I'm probably going to let a and by anyway, it's just so he can race. I mean a different race. Look at this! Oh my god, yeah, it does show that. Nice. Excuse me, but what the fuck? There we go. <laughs> I love how they're just babbling over there. I'm just gonna be just chilling. Don't mind me. I only have like what, like four laps to go. I can basically ta I can basically catch up. To them, but I'm not My only really a real concern is the Claire. He's like four seconds behind me. So I'm just gonna be chilling now. I don't think I'd be pushing that hard. is still okay now. I hate this headset. <laughs> oh god. I mean, like, other than, like, this, um, game, the last time we actually kind of had a stream where, oh god, it's both the cities and are battling with each other, I won't, I won't be surprised if they collide. The last time we kind of had a stream where it was, like, was this, was F1 2019. F1 2019 was the last time where we had, like, a, like, a stream mode. The rest was just, yeah, it was pretty shit. Because we did, well, there was no story mode after 2019. It was like my team mostly last year. And then we got Breaking Point. Which is actually possibly the best thing that has ever happened in F1. As my 
headset still kind of hide it. Jesus. Okay, I cannot do that. I was just gonna let go of the wheel and just see if I can fix what the hell the issue is. I can't really now because the car just wants to shake. I'm catching up to them. This is this... No. Okay, now nah, I'm backing off. Backing off now. Okay, yes, Jeff, I'm not racing them. I don't want to race them. They're in their own league. I'm just chilling on where I am in fourth place with the fossils left in the race. I should be actually competing for them, but I can't. I don't really want to. So the car is in 2021. What the f am I doing? <laughs> It'll be a lot different compared to 2020 because now that like they have like reduced downfalls, falls or change, but I don't care about um, something else as well. But it was it was mainly the downfalls on the floor. I don't know if the wings have, ch have been changed, or I think so, as I can think of. Uh, no, no, I don't think the diffusers. I don't think the diffuser has been changed. I don't know. I don't know. Though. Everybody, I can't change the camera because I haven't bound because I haven't binded to anything. I need to change that ASAP. So I guess this is also a good time for me just to say Discord. So I I made a new Discord server. Um, you can find it in the about section. And I'm working on putting the I'm working on I'm working on supporting the bot as I have the new invite and not the old one. So if you want to join it, you can. It's there for you. Fourth place, that's a pretty good result. Yes, I shall bring it home in fourth place. Are they going to talk about it? Or Crofty and...
And that is all. Oh, shut up. I do not care about the podium celebration. Jesus Christ. Only an hour and 31 in. Okay, so it's not... Maybe longer. I don't know if the 2021... Oh... Right. I don't know if the 2021 season is actually going to have the full schedule or, the, or are they going to have parts of it. I have no clue. Great, great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Oh, God. So, Aiden, it's a great result for you here today. The team must be delighted with a solid points finish. How are you feeling? It is a solid result, but it does yeah, obviously. Good. Yeah. It's a solid result, but there's always room for improvement. I'm sure we'll be looking at all the data from today and working out how we can build on it for the rest of the season. Well, it's such a great result, <coughs> especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Ah, uh, change is always difficult, but I think I'm certainly in. Yeah, go. Okay. I think there's always going to be hurdles, and look. You never know what's around the corner. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. The team seems happy at least. <laughs> so there's no <laughs> Not colliding with Casper. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked hard so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? Uh Oh god, do I say no comment or I think there's always going to be a settling in period? I'm just saying that, but hopefully I don't get fired. I think there's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Great. Well, that's everything. Jesus Christ. That always haunts me. Every, just, mm, Jackson put a solid performance at the French Grand Prix to firmly cement racing point as a contender in a crowded midfield battle. Mid pack of the F1 grid, much to, much to the delight of the team's management and fans. Okay, and what about Casper Aitken? Uh, alrighty. Socials, yeah. Emails, love good look at emails. Oh, who's calling me? Brian. Brian. Aiden, just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, okay. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Okay. Uh, it's a tough, tough race out there. Tough, no, that was not a tough race, it was an easy race. Oh, who, mom, what do you want? <laughs> hey, Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, mom. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbors probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> Oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favorite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? Of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there, and I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. God, I'm gross. Oh, uh, yeah, talking to the press. Uh... Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright. Okay. Let me actually first actually turn on the difficulty. Because. Wait. Fuck. Oh no. 
Ah, shit. <laughs> well then. Okay, that's alright. Advance, can I actually get, get my rewards or... Okay, yes I can. Skip that because I don't fucking care. Go to the next chapter. British Grand Prix. Let's race in point, continue with the show signs of improvement. The F1 world tumbles, turns his eyes to Silverstone. A real test for rookie Aiden Jackson as he returns home with hopes of impressing the crowd and earning their support at the historic circuit. Oh my god, Fernando Alonso makes a contract. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, who is this? Hello? Hello, mate. Who is this? Devin. Oh, come on, keep up. It's Devin! Butler. The very same. How did you get this number? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Listen, listen. I just wanted to pass on a bit of friendly advice. Oh, God. Now, it's always tricky racing on your home track. The pressure. All the fans watching. It's a nightmare. Right. Yeah. I imagine it is. But if you keep your cool, you stay focused, you will get through it. Okay? Just, just imagine it's a different circuit on the other side of the planet. Then... When your race does fall apart, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, uh, great advice. I knew you'd think so. Anyway, good luck out there today. Just, just try and make it to the end, eh? <laughs> Ta-ta! Uh, yeah, good luck to you too. I'll see you later. What if he actually cancels the call? That'd be kind of funny. Um... First part, Jesus, okay, mate. Aiden fan 01. Oh, look, right, so this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, what is this? Track size, kind of now, uh, about your contacts, that's what you reach all dearly love, yeah. Blah, 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 I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I should not be saying that. Okay, well, I can't really change it unless I... mid race. Capitalizing on a fantastic Q3, Aiden Jackson is enjoying one of his finest career performances when a front right puncture threatens to ruin his chances of a top 5 finish. I wonder how that happened. With friends and family in the stands and the crowd behind him, Jackson sets his sign on salvaging what he can from the race. So do I have to pit? Or what do I do? <laughs> I'm changing the difficulty straight away, I just want to say. Yep, there it is. Oh no, I will maximize the damage. Okay. That's some um, setting. Breaking point difficulty. Let's make it... Uh... Hard. Okay. Can I skip this? No. My chimes are gone! No one's able to know! <laughs> this is very long. Okay, there. Shizer. Okay, so that means I need to break a little bit later. <laughs> I'm making it more worse, I think, by just full throttle in it. Oh, just. Whew, that was close. Let's see how far I can push. I don't know what tires I'm actually going to be using. I think I'm gonna say seventh place is the probably one to me to go. Okay, let's see how far I can push this. Jesus Christ, I've dropped that low. Shit. Does it say where I have to where I have to finish? 
po point. Points, okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I didn't even get a penalty, let's go. Jesus, fuck. If I can get fast slide, that'll be fantastic. Oh, Geo? Okay, so I think Geo just pass. I hate my headset. Oh my god, I hate my headset actually fucking like stop crackling. This is this is actually pissing me off so much. Jesus. <laughs> I try to go so aggressive, my god, I'm... Oh god, they collided. <laughs> and they collide once again! <laughs> nah, nah, I'm very sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to crash into Casper. That's just too much of a meme now, at this point. Thank you for giving me the space. I'm gonna try. Why are you battling me? Why are you doing this to yourself? I'm way quicker than you. I 
I need to stop using the ERS because I'm just gonna just use it too much. I'm just gonna have no ERS at all. Jesus. Oh. Oh my god. Wee! <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Come on, shift up. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> I tried to like try to spin it back. Uh god damn it. Oh, come on. I need more power. Ooh. Coming like... Like, um... Just... Making a mistake. I am pushing so hard right now. I think 10th place will be alright with me.
What the fuck? How did I? What? Fuck the album. <laughs> Alright, what did I say? Yeah, 10th place or about. Okay. Yeah, so 10th place. The cops, yep. Gonna shut the door on him. I'm keeping my tenth place. Oh, it's good enough for me. Hi, right, dog's growling. Then a fantastic British Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely, he'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine oh my god, dog, shut up. Been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now, whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Racing Points Aiden Jackson. Want to watch? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, podium celebration, no one cares. <laughs> Despite suffering a puncture mid-race, Jackson manages to overcome the odds, securing a brilliant points finish for Racing Point at British Grand Prix. It was only one point, come on. It was over two points if Hamilton didn't get the fastest lap, but that's really about it. Trivia time. Can I do trivia time? Oh, yes, I can. Uh Oh god, he's calling me. Oh, Brian. Brian. Well, someone's the hot topic in the press room. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Well, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. <laughs> well, I'm glad the press is starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So, don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. What is this? Oh, my God. Uh... Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Especially Jeff. <laughs> mm. Alrighty. I've not, yes, I, yeah, I've not seen like the next one, so I've no idea what's gonna happen. Italian Grand Prix. Other great heads of Monza, the team at Racing Point, have managed to find some welcome consistency during the second half of the 2020 season. Both drivers are hungry to gain ground in competition, but Aiden Jackson is determined to outperform his teammate Kasper Aiken, both in the standings and in the eyes of the team. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage, but I'm losing power on the straights. All right, and you said the acceleration is okay. Hmm, we'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. 
<laughs> All right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. I uh, thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Toto Wolf. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then? So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. Okay. Let's do it. Put the Spec 2 in Aiden's, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? Oh. <laughs> Ryan. Hey, I'm glad I've caught you. Listen, don't worry about Casper. Let me stop you there. Brian, Casper's the furthest thing from my mind right now. I've got a race to focus on. Good man. In the garage just now. That was my fault. I know how he can be. What? Childish? Self-centered? I'm sick of it, Brian. He's been on my case ever since I joined the team. He needs to grow up. Okay, okay. You just leave Casper to me and get your head in the race. Let's put that new power unit to good use, eh? Sure thing, Brian. See you on the other side. <laughs> Why is this the... Uh... Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, 12. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, 12 play. Wait, hang on. Did, hang on. did I just say McLaren is second? Oh, okay, 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 okay McLaren. I thought it was a second, like, what the fuck? Okay, what is my camera doing? <laughs> okay. Camera, 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 calm down, <laughs> calm the fuck down. Jackson looks to take full advantage of his of his car's new power unit to the to the vexation of the of his teammate Casper Aiken. With the grid set, his folk his folk is locked in. Jackson is eager to show Ackerman why Racing Point signed him. We're now we're now clocked over two hours. You know what? Let's try and complete this. Let's just try and complete this in one one stream. I know I have no idea if I'm gonna be the first person to do it, but let's just try it. Welcome one and all, and we're in for a real treat at this classic circuit here today. The crowd are ready to go, the cars are ready to go, and we're just about set for lights out. Welcome to the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Here we are then, Monza, the 90th time this event has been held. So a special year for F1 fans, particularly the Italians, who are rightly proud of this event and its heritage. Yeah, it always feels a bit special here, doesn't it, Crofty? Hamilton holds the joint record with Schumacher for number of wins here at five apiece, but could snatch it outright today with a sixth. Nearly a hundred years of history here, so let's see what this year holds in store for the Italian Grand Prix. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Ackerman, Carlos Sainz, and Kvyat, <laughs> Norris, Ricardo, Gasly, and Alexander Albon, Ocon, 
Leclerc, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Butler, Vettel, Grosjean, George Russell, and Aiden Jackson, Magnussen, and Nicholas Latifi. Do they always have to put Jackson so low? So let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Do they always have to put Jackson like really, really, really low down? Okay. 13 laps again. Okay, so they're really obsessed with that 13 laps, huh? So I need to beat Akam. Okay. How am I so how am I slower compared to Gasly? Okay, all that also works as well. Oh, it's a very aggressive move by me. Turn car. Now. Maybe I need to put them to difficulty, maybe. I don't really, really know, though. That's what I hate about, like, these, like, difficulties. Is that there's not, it's not, it's, it's not like the slider. Like, the number, like, slider was like, oh, I want an 80. You know, like, my difficulty is 80 or 100 or something. I wish I was actually a thing on this one, but it's not. It pisses me off. It's really, really annoying. Please, here, Illuminous, I need your setup. Please, give me your setups. I am so slow. Come on. <laughs> this racing point should not be slow. Maybe it's just a difficulty. Fucking move, Ricardo. Jesus. Oh, shit.
Come on. Come on, car. I reckon. <laughs> God, I'm so used to putting up to rich mix and I can't now, which is, is kind of annoying. Not kind of, actually, really, really annoying. Jesus Christ, I was not expecting to get that much of a run on Fiat. I'm so fucking bad at this. Is there gonna be a caution when Vettel just plows into the to the boards? Meakaman. Fucking what? <laughs> okay. Am I just that bad? Yes. Cut that corner. That's so fucking slow. I'm just gonna plow into him if he does that again. Goodbye. Yeah, I can't get past signs. Come on, signs. Try and build up a gap then. Oh, he's moving alongside. There we go. Now let's just push. And that I've been already pushing, so let's just push even more. Dog. I'm not racing there, mate.
Ah, uh, yeah, that's such a shit eggs in the exiting turn, exiting turn two. Three and four. Oh, that's actually turn four and five. Go over to Grande. Just cut that corner, because why not? Shit. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Ah! <laughs> How many rewinds is that? Can someone tell me? Can someone tell me how much rewinds that is? I'll say that's around like 10. That's like my, that's like my 10th rewind. But I don't know. It's a good game though, I'm just bad at it, that's all. Twenty. Mm. Let's pit. When did it? When was like? What's that the latest time I can pit? This is what I always do. Twelve. Okay. Let's pit around lap ten, maybe. I'll say lap ten. The size is better. Actually, I'll I'll pit after. Um, Ackerman. So whenever he pits, I'll pit him a lap after. I'm the number one driver. I keep shifting twice, I hate it. Not pitting. When does Ackerman pit? Ackerman's saying that again. Okay. Looks like we're both going long. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. I have to do this all over again. Jesus. That was a good save. Put like two downforce. The comeback was like the exact downforce it was last season. I'm just gonna put a two just for the time being. Just so I can get more speed. When does Ackerman pit? Thank you. Okay, I guess I'm pitting lap 11. Oh fuck, okay. I guess I need to build up a pretty sizable gap then. I can maybe actually pit, oh, like when he's out. Maybe. Just keep pushing hard. Jesus Christ. Fuck. This is what we call overcorrection. <laughs> At some point, my, like, I'm just gonna, like, take off my hand. 
my hand is just gonna go flop to Narnia. I think I lose 20 seconds. But that's okay, so I'll be 4 seconds in front of Albon, which would be good. This is a good pit stop, lads. Better be a good one. It's a it's a shit one. You guys, come on. Album. I can actually behind signs and Kvyat, so I think I'll be all good now. Just going to just chill in fourth place and yeah. No, I'm not playing now. I'm not playing Overwatch at all, I don't think now. So, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to play Overwatch. So. Fuck sex. <laughs> Number one rule, do not look at chat when driving. <laughs> I probably actually let Albon buy. That'll probably be a good idea because it definitely seems a lot faster. Okay, don't pass me now, Jesus. I'll let you pass it now and caught in the straight. Well, because you're in DPS. That's probably why the queues took so long for you. DPS. What else do you expect from it? Yeah. It's DPS. I'm not surprised about it. Oh, Jesus, Albon. Go. Go, Albon. I'm letting you by. Clearly faster than me. Go. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess today is just a really hectic day in Overwatch with DPS plays, especially. I 
guess Overwatch is really popular today. So, hmm. Alright, I guess I'm gonna come out fifth place. That's pretty good, though. Sorry, from like fucking 18th. Thanks, game. Thanks for putting him in like such a low ass position. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. Well, 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 quite the rivalry forming between the rookie Aiden Jackson and his veteran teammate Casper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from McLaren back in 2007. And we all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Uh, yes, it will. Crafty, yes, it will. What are you on about? It will come to that. I bet, like, next season, 2021, in F1 2021 in this story mode, you actually get promoted to your designated team. Like, if you chose Williams or... Aston Martin or Racing Point, you'll get to Mercedes. If you... Oh, Good God. Let's have your take on no, it. not an interview! So, it's a decent result for you today with a finish in the points. How are you feeling, Aiden? Hmm... I'm not really going to rub it into cast so let's just do this. Say? It went well. And points are points. I'm really happy, and I think the team will be too. It's a good result here, so let's see if we can build on that. For yeah, I wish I could do that, but I can't. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? Uh, supporting the team. About the support of the team. Get They're fucked, Casper. I'm feeling looked after, and I couldn't ask for more. So any improvements are thanks to them. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Casper Ackerman? Uh... Look, driver relationships are always going to be tricky. Individually, you're okay. always pushing yourselves. You have your fun. Pushing. I can't let anything like that worry me. Besides, we're fine. Appreciate your time. <laughs> I've lied about it. Let's Mexico! With only a handful of races remaining this season, time is running now for racing points to secure the points needed for to finish above their mid pack rivals in the Constructors Championship. A clip uh a clip in form over the past few races uh, as the team desperately hoping for a strong performance from both rookie Aiden Jackson and veteran Casper Ackerman. Or Ackerman, I don't know. Ricardo to leave running uh, McLaren, yeah, I'm not surprised. Ah! Mom? Aiden, I'm here. Oh, good. After that flight delay, I was starting to get concerned. Don't worry. Everything's fine. And they're uh, looking after you? Better than at Silverstone. Good, because you were my lucky charm there, Mum. And I'm hoping you do the same here. I'll try, love. Now just do what you do, and everything will be great. I know. Mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. <laughs> I'll try. Have a great race, Aiden. I'll see you after. I'm so pleased you're here, Mum. This one's for you, eh? Is that a reference to Lucas Weber? I think I might be reference to Lucas Weber. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. I think, yep. I think, yep. That's Lucas Weber. A little nod to F1 2019. Vables are streamer tips. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I definitely need those. What is this? Uh yeah. Very joint interview. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, yes, I know Mexico is a fast track. I think I'm aware of that, mate. Come on. Well, let's go to the race because I don't care about that. Uh, the only handful of last remaining racing point is looking to is looking to both of its drivers for points in order to improve their position in the standings. Only last push is needed from Aiden Jackson, desperate to keep pace with his teammate Casper Ackerman. Oh, Casper Aikman. I don't know. People saying like Ackerman, Ackerman. 
I think it's Ackerman. Yeah, Ack yeah, Casper Ackerman. Okay. Wait, is this where I think it is? Did I mean in the trailer where like both the drivers crashed? I think this is where it is, but I don't actually know. Spoiler alert. Seven left to me. Move, Gasly, you fuck. Jesus Christ, don't swerve to me. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. We're actually quite fun on Mexico. Okay. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake, where's my turning signal? Turning signal? Turning angle. Shut up, I don't care. Let me focus. Wait, what the fuck? Why is Bottas here? Magnus, and I swear to God, go back to bloody Emsa. Thank you. You tell me I need to get past a Mercedes? Are you kidding me, game? Shut up! Just shut up! My god! When do you ever learn to shut up, Jeff? I have to tell you this, Jeff. Shut up. Just shut up, okay? It's clear from anyone watching, in the stands or at home, the determination on show from race point 
and Aidan Jackson today. No, you're not wrong there, Ant. His performance has improved race by race throughout the season, and his driving today, impeccable. Here's a test room now, though, as they head down the main straight. There's a lot of friction between these two, and his teammates after him. Willie Budge! Hold position, Aidan. Oh, I've never seen anything like this on a racetrack before! Two teammates wheel to wheel! Keep it clean! Inches separating them and they crash! Oh, they there it is. In spectacular style, and they're both out of the race. Disaster. With neither drivers willing to see the position, Jackson and Ackerman make contact heading into turn one. Both cast the same terminal damage, ending the race for the racing point pair and shattering the team's dreams of securing a top five position in the constructors' championship. invested millions in you two millions and look at you both acting like like a couple of school kids you've got a lot to prove this year boy and you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt and as for you you should know better I'm disgusted you should both be ashamed Brian not a I... word not a single word I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Any more, and you're both out, do you hear me? I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Both of you, get out. Oh. Go away. Hey. What did he say? Threaten to fire both of us. He won't. That's not the point. I'll just leave you be. Is Lily okay? Does she know I'm safe? Yeah. She saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not hurt. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. I'll see you later. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's have a look. So I can't believe it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
Uh... Oh, yeah, Jack Nichols. Hello there. Wait, is this Casp... Oh, shit. Okay, so we're actually Casper Aiken now. Oh. Yeah, like mother. And, um... What's, what's her name? Lily? Nice. Um... Oh, Lucas Vapor. Hey. Oh, good old Lucas Vapor there. Um. Okay. Apparently, yeah. What's gonna happen here now? Oh, 2021. It's a new season. The possibility is a fresh start for Casper Ack for Casper Ackerman. And racing point following the Unceremus and the uh, to the team's chance in the 2020 season. Both drivers and team are looking to deliver a strong start at the season opening Melbourne. Here we are then, another season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aiden Jackson in ninth, but Aston Martin still hopeful the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. Teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. You did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kasper. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. But I shouldn't have to. Damn. Uh, team. Well, yeah, she has team changes. Nah, okay. No, no one really cares. Still Ackerman. Oh God. Zoe. Zoe, hey. Morning, Daddy. Lily, uh, you know it's not morning where Daddy is, right? Mummy says you're on the other side of the world. <laughs> That's right. Daddy is in Australia. I'm upside down. Then why don't the cars fall off? Uh, Mummy can explain that. Can I speak to her? Don't fall off, Daddy. I won't, Lily. Promise. Hey, qualifying not so good, huh? Yeah, they sent me out first. Again? Yeah. Well, some of your best races were coming from midfield. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I thought you loved a challenge. Lils, off the table. Now. It's breakfast time. I should go. Sure. You'll be great. You always are. Love ya. Love you too. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. Um. Okay, so I guess Lucas and Casper, they're pretty good mates. That's interesting to look at. Okay. Let's go to the race. With tensions from last year set to continue into this season, Casper Ackerman pushes onwards during the inaugural race of the 2021 championship. Wait, are we going to be Casper now? So I guess, are we actually going to be Casper or are we going to be Jackson? Well, like, who are we going to be? <laughs> I guess there's also, that, that also proves my point as well. So it's going to be in part, I think. Like, who are we going to be as? Jackson or Ackerman? Ackerman. Okay, so we're Ackerman. Okay, so we missed seventh. Fuck. <laughs> we missed seventh gear. So, what do I need to finish? Finish the race while managing the fault. Okay. 
but I'm so it doesn't matter if I miss positions. Okay, well. So gearbox is shit. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, I can definitely yeah. Let's try and get tenth. Let's try and get tenth. Let's aim for tenth. Guys he's just up the road. So I guess we'll try and get him. After the gasly, I'm just messing up like an idiot. Love how like Cody's also said, oh yeah, oh yeah. So the play, so Aiden Jackson is going to be controlled by the player. They didn't say anything about the players then going to control Casper Ackerman. I don't know. Is it is it is it is, it, is it Ackerman or Ackerman? Casper Ackerman? I oh, don't know. Fuck. I killed Gasly <laughs> again. I killed someone in the last corner again. Jesus.
still really sad that um, Australia is cancelled. Australian Grand Prix is cancelled. I'm really, really sad about that. That kind of makes sense well because the COVID cases here is pretty shite. <laughs> Try and get past Jackson. <gasps> actually, no. Now I think about it, it actually kind of makes sense why I chose um, Racing Point because Ocon and Perez—they all—they they always collided. So it kind of makes sense. I just thought of it just now, my god. Oh, come on. Okay. This place is actually really pretty good now that I think about it. Jeez, guys, don't mess it up, Riley. Let Ackerman actually get his... ...points, that is when Max Verstappen wins the race. We're gonna come home in a very nice 8th place. Very, very sodden eighth place. I'll take it. Oh. Jesus. We've done. Some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. Well, what's happened there to Casper Ackerman? Still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating, at. Yeah, looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Well, this isn't the start he would have wanted after last season. Let's hope things pick up for him. So now the story now shifts from Jackson to now Red Bull are Ackerman. Our winners today after showcasing is that Perez? Some incredible okay, so guys, okay, it's a one, two, four Red Bull, I guess. Okay. See what happens next, but yeah, <laughs> and lolly. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. Oh my fucking god, I hate this bitch. So not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what happened? Well, it was clearly an issue with the gearbox. Not a great place to be as a driver, but we'll work on it. I'm sure. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when facing such issues? Mm. It's difficult when you don't want to compete, but there's nothing you could do about it. You need to concentrate on the problem at hand and hope for the best. Uh, well, it's almost impossible. You have the race going on around you, and all you want to do is compete. Your adrenaline is up, but there's nothing you can do about it. What else can I say? While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. How are things now with you and Aiden? Um, that was last season. It's no secret that Aiden and I had a few run-ins, but that's the risk when you put two drivers together for the first time. <laughs> I don't like to look back. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. I'm sure he's learned a lot, and we'll see what happens this season. Great. Well, that's everything. I'm honest, it's a pretty good, um, pretty decent, like, way, you know, like, we actually get to have interviews now in the press. So much for a fresh start.
mechanical uh, issues, hamstring, Ackerman, the Australian Grand Prix, as his bad luck from the previous season continues. Yeah, that is factual. Uh... <laughs> Acro, my man. <laughs> what the fuck? The Flying Dutchman. Okay, Arba. I'm down there. What's happening here? Um... Look on the new... But we're looking into the gearbox. What is this? Oh, okay. Butler. Yeah. It's really interesting as well that Lucas Weber is basically still in the game, but he's actually friends with um with Casper, which is really interesting to me. Bahrain, okay. Looking to bounce back after the frustration of the Australian Grand Prix. Casper, Casper A. Ackerman, fuck no. And the Aston Martin are eager to fly in stability in Sakia. But as he but as the race goes on, it becomes clear that his tie wear is reaching critical levels. Oh fuck's sakes. I should probably press A as well, wouldn't that be a great idea? So I've done almost three hours now streaming. Oh. Some epic sequence. Okay. Bro, I didn't even get DRS. Go move, fucker. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Stay with me. Wow, twice I had to shift down. You kidding me, game?
Fuck off. Jesus. <laughs> God, Jackson is doing shit. Let me just swear at him and say thank you for hitting. Move, Sonoda. Move. Why would I manage my tires, Jeff? What are you on about, mate? Oh, goddy. I just now need to get past Perez, and I think I'll be alright unless I somehow catch up to signs. Come on, mate. Let's go. Woo! Oh shit. It's coming back at me. Six seconds up. Okay, I think I may need to chill here now. Still pretty good. Hitting, double stacking. You have to sixth place. That's not too bad. Actually, catching up to science as well. So maybe I can. Fuck, Jesus. <laughs> I can maybe catch up to him. I don't really know though. Hopefully. Who's in the top three? I should be actually having a full track map and not just this. Nah, I'll change this soon.
That's all right there. There's science up the road. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to catch up to it. That's all right. Oh, actually, I'm not going to use any ERS now. Fuck sakes. <laughs> My god almighty. The curb on the inside, a little too much curbing. Break hard. Oi. <laughs> Damn. Archie Bottas wins a Sakia Grand well the Bahrain Grand Prix, not the Sakia Grand Prix, that was last year. Just gonna use up all my ERS just for good measure. Going out a bit wide. I just did Jack Aiken almost. Nice. It's not too bad, sixth place. My fingers fucking hurt, my god. All the driving here. And then da da da. An interesting little encounter between Ackerman and Jackson in the pit lane. And might that cause more friction behind the scenes? Ackerman sounded pretty angry on the radio, didn't he? Told to box the next lap, but he came in anyway. That's not the decision of a man thinking clearly. Is he bringing his personal grievances onto the track? I think he could be. They denied each other a significant number of points last season. And if today's anything to go by, those issues look like continuing. Well, here's the thing. I came from 11 to 6. I don't know what you're on about, Crofty. Oh, well, actually, I commended. Whatever. Jesus Christ. Bum, 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 But, what else can I really do? Everyone who is um, currently watching the stream, uh, thank you very much. Very, uh, so that was an exciting race for I do appreciate it. Let's have yours. Oh, for fuck's sake, piss off. Congratulations on a tough race today, Casper. To all of us watching, it seems as if there was some sort of clash in pitting strategy. Can you talk us through it? Hmm. Well, it's unfortunate, but these things happen. I felt the tires begin to go off and realized I needed to come in. It was a calculated risk. There's not much else to say. I pulled it back and finished the race, so no harm done. <laughs> yeah, well, the problem we all witnessed today was a team call, and not a sign of continuing tensions again this season between you and Aiden Jackson. Um. No, everything's fine. Today was just an issue with... Oh, I should have done it. Fuck! Fuck! Should have! Yeah, What's wrong with me? problems last season, but that was then. This is now. What do you ask? Well, you seemed angry on the radio with your team. People are asking if that's an indicator of a deeper issue behind the scenes. What would you say to that? I'll just oh, say that one. To be concerned about. It's just adrenaline. You're in the middle of a race, you get hot. I can't even remember what I said. If it was, you know, colourful, <laughs> and I'm sure we'll all be laughing about it later. Great. Well, that's everything. Fuck, I should've done the other one. No! No! I should've done the other one. What's wrong with me? No! With the incident... Well, the incident to piss me off cost Ackerman some places. He managed to, to claw... Claw them back and deliver a respectable finish for himself and Aston Martin at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Yay! Fuck you. I just don't get it, Zoe. Gets to pit ahead of me. 
and they give his car the only new power unit last season. And he gets to go out behind me and qualify. <sighs> this kid is the new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Not this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on. This is your last season. You said you'd make it count. Shh. I still need to tell them. When will you? Soon. Okay. Well, in the meantime, forget about Jackson. Okay. And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Sam Vort next, remember? Everyone's gonna be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Oh, that's, that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born charmer. Mm. Stephen's got nothing on me. You had to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's actually quite funny. Oh man, I come in. Mm. Oh god, what's happening here? Um. So out of order. Uh, okay. Let's see what it says here. Nobody's fault. Um, and press update. What's happening over there? Um, okay. Let's go to the next chapter and see what happens. Mechanical failure and team strategy frustrations has have impacted Ackerman's early ex, uh, early races this season. I cannot speak, holy fuck. With the grid now heading to Zandvoort in Ackerman's native country of the Netherlands, he hopes that a return home will be pangs will be Panasa to his recent struggles. I cannot English. The return of the Dutch Grand Prix. Let's have a look here. Morgan West interview. Oh, uh, Zoe. Zoe. Daddy. Hey, Lils. What have you been doing today? I drew a picture. Yeah. What's it a picture of? It's a secret. Okay. Well, maybe you'll show it to me later. Maybe. Will you win today, Daddy? I hope so, Lils. Hey, can I ask you a question? What's the question? Who's your favorite racing driver? You are. Yeah, just checking. Can I speak to mommy now? No. Okay. Bye, daddy. <laughs> Bye, Lily. Um... Let's just go to next chapter. With the family in the crowd, Casper Ackerman looks looks to a familiar track to turn around his fortunes. Okay, now let me um pull that just need to look on Discord. Just mainly just server notifications. I just need to check up on, even though I don't really care about them. Um. Oh, <laughs> interesting. And okay, 
Okay. Hello and welcome to Zandvoort for another round of Formula One action. <laughs> That's all you're gonna say, mate. Crafting. Zandvoort circuit, uh. 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout a 2.6 mile lap. Did you say anything else, so Crofty? Oh, there you go. Zandvoort. If there's one thing you can guarantee, it's the incredible atmosphere these Dutch fans provide. The sea of orange shirts is much a part of the Grand Prix as the track itself. Max Verstappen, always a home favourite, but in the midfield, all eyes on Aston Martin's Kasper Ackermann. He'll be looking to turn around a poor patch of form, and what better time to do it than here, in front of his home crowd. Let's run you through the driver grid order for Bro, today's Crofty exciting race. Anything. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic oh, lap well, today, a and he starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Leclerc, Sergio Perez, and Bottas, Sainz, Ackerman, Fernando Alonso, and Daniel Ricciardo, Gasly, Jackson, Esteban Ocon, and Sonoda, Butler, Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Nikita Mazepin, <laughs> Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then. It's Why does Latifi look like look so shocked? Like looks like hmm, I'm very interested in this. Even though that's legit what the pros are supposed to be. Hmm. Now if you don't know. This is one of my favorite tracks, and you'll find out why. If it's the same as last year's. Turning circles. Oi. I get comfortable now with the car. And the banking around the outside. So close. All I did is just bang wheels. What do you mean that's a warning? I got loose. Come on, game. I don't say this on the mediums. It's fucking terrible. I hate the mediums. I hate the mediums. Yeah, and softs, I'm good. I wonder who's in the lead. Oh, it's for Staffen. Over down the inside, Bottas.
my game from Norris. Shit. Ugh. So much ground there because I was, I was using the RS. Say if I actually caught a podium, let's try that. Let's just aim for a podium and see what they say. Still need to catch up to Leclerc. Fuck. Oh my god, that was really close. Oh my god, that was a big old bump. Perfect softs. 
Perfect. Oh my fucking god, I hate this. <sighs> I'm bad. <laughs> Wait, how am I gonna say? Finish oh, it actually tells me to actually tells me actually to finish on the podium. Okay. That's a big old bump. So I actually have to finish on the podium. Okay. I think third place will be very easy. Let's not spin out. Camille Leclerc. My fucking god, buddy. And <laughs> I don't know why I did that to be honest. <laughs> why did I just dive in down the inside? That was a bit of a dumb move. Ah, oh, maybe I should actually... Never. Jesus. <laughs> that gave me a scare. I'm on first place. I'm gonna do what I do with Jackson and just wait until my teammate pits. Well, uh, 17, okay. That's the DNN to this story about, right? 
And they will be. I'm not bit in yet. Probably maybe pit lap. 12, 11? I don't know. I just want fresher tires than everyone else. Nope. Where are my tires actually? Oh, wait, shit. That one. 31. Thirty-two twenty-four. Okay. Aiden is in the pits. Aiden in the pits. This is why I this, um, a headset with the help the game just frozen. Pick. I box I said boxes lap and Jeff did not There we go. Just wanna just get a confirmation, Jeff, Jesus. Oh <laughs> I need to get in front of Leclerc. I'm in front of Leclerc. Let's go. Okay, let's just put a fossil slab after fossil slab. Let's just do that. Let's just fall. Jesus. See how far I can push this. Buddy, I just put on my ties. What are you on about? Power. <laughs> Actually catching up to him. Go on, I'm catching up to Hamilton. Fuck. Jesus. 
don't like those. Oh my god, the curb. I just cocked it up. <laughs> Apologies for that. Oi! The fuck? Okay. Oh, Christ's sake! Oh, oh, okay. I was actually not ready for that. I did not even mean to press X. Oh, now I remember how I drove this car, drove this track. Okay. I just remember how I drove this track. Okay. In the chicane, I just remembered it. Okay, now I need power. I have no idea that's faster or not, but that's what I used to do for some reason. Can I stop spinning down at that, ex at that exact cor corner, please? It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Quickly complete this race and quickly, like, complete this story mode. I'm just that bad. Six seconds in front of me. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to catch up to them unless a miracle happens. And they both crash. That'd be kind of funny. I guess Casper is also going to be retiring at the end of this season. That'd be quite interesting. Are you fucking serious? How do you always spin in corners? Oh, this is what happens when you play this game too much. What am I doing? Riley, what am I doing? What are you doing, Riley? Come on. I like the HUD, I'll be honest. I probably like it. It's a pretty nice HUD. Do not touch that curb. That curb is scary. All the way down low. Let's go to faster. Okay. Jeff, shut up, I don't care about my tires. It's like two laps remaining. What are you on about? Plus, I have podium position. My home race. Hamilton's gonna be surrounded by Dutch.
seven seconds. Fossil's lap though, so I basically have 16 points. Oh my god, I was so close to me spitting out. I felt, I, I saw the car rotate and I was so scared. <laughs> Oh, you fucking bitch. Fuck you, Baltas. in my fossils lap away. Come on. Oi. Oi. Hardingham. Hardingham. <laughs> Jeff, why are you saying so monotone? I legit got a podium by Aston Martin. We on about mate? What a race for Casper Ackerman, proving the naysayers wrong with an emphatic performance. He'll be delighted by that podium finish. Well, we all know he can do it. It's just been a while since he has. Great race from Ackerman and some much needed points for Aston Martin. I love it. I love how they don't care about Hamilton and Verstappen. Ackerman and Jackson. Should I watch this? I guess I'll watch it because. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I do not care about you. Fucking shit. The fans really seem to enjoy that. He made it look oh, yeah. easy. A podium finish today, Casper. Here in front of your home crowd. How does it feel? Um. Oh God. Well, my family is here today. My wife and my daughter. So. I'm delighted I was able to have a good race for them. It means the world to have them here. And I, I think I would have been miserable tonight if I didn't have a good race, which wouldn't have been fun for anyone. So yeah, I'm really happy. Mm. How is everything at Aston Martin? Are spirits high? Is the team happy? Uh... Yes, of course. We've had a bit of a bumpy start, but we're looking to rectify Maybe I should have done the Thankfully, we got the a lot of races left, left one. so we're looking forward to the Sorry. season ahead. But <sighs> the only thing you can ever really focus on is the next Oh my god, I don't care. So I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Thanks for your time. Thank you. It's done. <laughs> okay. Casper Ackerman. Put on a virtuous, a virtuous so performance at the Dutch Grand Prix with a podium finish in front of the home of fans. Virtuous so? Virtuous so. Virtuous so. I, I, I don't know. I don't know English. Hey man, great race today. Thanks. Nice one, Casper. <laughs> Can't argue with that performance. Jamie teammate couldn't bring himself to congratulate you. No, nah, well, he's just a kid. A kid who's getting signed by Mercedes. So they say. Never gonna happen. Oh? <laughs> you keep a secret? Yeah, sure. I've been approached. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Keep it under your hat, but uh, talks are going well. So you're gonna have to get on with Jackson for a little while longer. Yeah, well, we get on fine. That's not what I heard. No? I was chatting with one of your mechanics. He had 
some very interesting things to say about Jackson. You know what his problem is, don't you? Go on. Thinks you're getting too old. Says you're not fast enough anymore. Too old? <laughs> hey, mate, his words, not mine. You want my advice? Prove him wrong. See, he should respect you like I do. Great race out there today, buddy. Yeah? Ciao. What the fuck? Oh god, he's looking at him. He's spying on him. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> the road to recovery, Aston Martin. Interesting comments. Hey. Hey, Lily's dancing in the garage. It's hilarious. Can you come? Just catching up on a few things. Sure. Hey, I, I booked us a restaurant for tonight. What about Lily? Your mother's happy to take care of her. Great, then I can't wait. Reason to celebrate, right? Yeah, thanks, Zoe. See you later. Bye. Um. What does this say? Oh my god, who else? Aiden. Yeah, Casper. Yeah. I met him just, just now. What do you what want? I just wanted to say congratulations to today. today. That was that some race. race. I'm busy. Oh, sure. Yeah, um, yeah it's going well. Okay. Yeah, I think I like it. Hey, you Do you want any races? Uh, well, no. It's a story mode. Yeah. So I'm like playing. Well, it's like the second time. The, the first one was pretty short. This one is a full one. Yeah, I think it's like like four hours. Want to say four hours to complete? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, it was short. That was like twenty nineteen. It was like a short one. Yeah, long one. Yeah. Uh, what is this? You can eat it. Okay. Fine. Uh, go to the next one. What is this? Several laps remaining, Aston Martin looks to be in a favourable position with both of his drivers in the points. Casper Ackerman continues to push forward, but it seems Aiden Jackson is continuing to gain ground on him. Are they going to crash? <laughs> I love how like, we're just making, like, I I'm just making jokes about it as well now. Oh, are they going to crash now? Are they going to go pill, pill, pill? Oh god. What do I need to do? I need to let him pass? Do I need to keep him behind? Okay. Wait, do I? Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, don't let Paul, yeah, don't let Jackson pass you. Wait, is this where the scuffle begins, that comes? Oh gosh. I'm gonna do a Schumacher and just, fuck. I killed him. <laughs> It's actually a pretty good story mode. I, quite, I, I actually quite enjoyed this. A lot of tension, a roller coaster. Well, isn't he going to retire anyway? So it won't really matter to him. Oh my god. 
god. Hey, he's really not faster than me, I'll be honest. <laughs> so that was kind of like a shit thing to say, but it's alright. I feel like they have actually, like, Cody's have actually done some, they've, he's, I, they've done some track changes. I feel like the World of Champions is, like, a bit, what's on channel look for? But, like, um, I can't, I like, it's, it's, like, further away from the, from the track. I think it's great. Hey, look at that. Way quicker than Casper. Casper? Aiden. Okay. I really do enjoy this. Yeah, there's so much room now in the exit of the all champions. It's really great to see. I'll be honest. Understeer. Oversteer. <laughs> a lot better. Just, I just need to get used to the handling. Because I don't know if I, I'm like, I'm just not used to the handling well currently. But I'm trying my best. I need more power. I love it a lot like the game is basically... The game is basically telling, is telling you to not obey a team water. <laughs> I did not know that I was Sebastian Vettel. I was going to give a lot, a lot of people some memories. What's that channel's name? Like, hey, like, oh crap, what's that guy's name again? There's like comparisons of real life and the game of F1 tracks. Hey, yeah, um, hey, can you uh, just do like all these tracks? Because I feel like they've actually done some stuff to it. They probably have done some changes to it. Hamilton has won the race. No shocker. I actually had a shit eggs in the hair, apparently, is what I say. No. I'm all aggressive. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Is this when they shove? And like, I'm, I'm talking about the trailer because I'm trying to like pinpoint where they are in the trailer. Ask yourself, what is going on behind the scenes at Aston Martin? This rivalry between the two drivers, it's simply not going away. You wonder how many more points they're going to squander. I think Aston Martin have got a real problem here that they need to deal with. 
I don't know how, but they've got to address it. Laura Scholl comes in. What happened in Mexico last season? The two drivers took each other out of the race completely. How long before we see a repeat of that? As you so rightly say, Ant, something's clearly not right over there. All right, let's look at the, the drivers. Let's have a look at the next chapter. I, I actually no, I, I no, I, I yeah, I, I think it's the same chapter. Let's have a look. What was that? Hey, just leave it. No, just talk to me once. Just let go. Back up. Why does you have to be like this? Oh, so I'm the problem. You won't let me pass. You won't even talk to me! You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? How am I supposed to do that? I'm all ears! You give me space out there! What's your problem? Yeah, I'll climb. I'm trying to win. Oh, and that makes you special? You're a nightmare, Caspar! You won't have to put up with me for much longer. What's that supposed to mean? I am sick and tired of all this. I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Wait. What? Casper. Casper. Here, yeah, Ocon. Uh oh. Oh lordy, Austrian Grand Prix. The Canadian Grand Prix uh, appeared to be the nadder of Ackman, uh, of Ackman and Jackson's relationship. With footage of the of the altercation going viral, Aston Martin are hoping that both drivers can start to move it to, to move part to, fuck can start to move past it over. What to move past it? You know, then that, that, that does not make sense. Over the course of the Austri of the Austrian Grand Prix. Prevent this season from ending in a similar fashion to their last one. Um. <laughs> uh, this is. That's the agent, so Tom Stocker is the agent. Okay. Wait, Louis Sutton. Like he's not fast. <laughs> Aye, that's gonna be. This is actually. This is intriguing to me. A poor start to the race finds Casper Ackerman sitting at the back of the field with several laps remaining. The deployment of the safety car gives Ackerman the opportunity to pull back some much-needed places. Oh damn! <laughs> Shit. I will be uploading this one to YouTube, obviously. Um, I don't know. I have no idea if I'm going to be the first person to actually complete this, but if I am, yay! But yeah, it's very interesting. Oh shit! Hello, Aiden. Fucking retired. <laughs> Are you 
telling me? Wait, what does it say? Catch up to safety car field. Uh, catch up to field before the safety car goes in. Okay. So there is the field. I think I'll be able to catch up to them. We'll see though. It's also funny to me as well that Ocon was there of all drivers just so oh shit. Yeah. Ocon was 10th now. I have all drivers that have to choose Ocon. I'm not saying Ocon's bad choice, it's just funny to me that they legit had to get an F1, like a real F1 driver, just to come in and calm it down. Try and get a good start. Try and get like a good start here. I don't know how. Oh, I give him a little bump. <laughs> oh, funny, funny game. You're, you still do that? It's not even a severe collision. It's just a little bump. Latifi, I'm here. Latifi, I'm here. Thank you. Come on, knock on. It's kind of my fault as well because I ran in there. So it was a 10th place or above? Okay. I love like our fastest lap as well, just because of safety car conditions. Bruh. Come on, Russell. Stopping power is amazing. Oh, come on. Car. Work with me, buddy. Come on, mate.
Oh, yes, DRS. On the outside, up to tenth place. Jesus. Oh my God. You know, my lights. <laughs> it's like right now, it's like 4 41. It's like it's 4 p.m. And it's pretty. It's, it's getting dark a bit. Especially where I am, it's getting pretty dark. Corner cutting? A warning for corner cut- uh, that, that should be a warning for exceeded track limits, not corner cutting. I've known about your honor about game. I need to stop riding that curb. It's a very lethal curb. Oh, turning. Bring the brake bias down a bit. Fuck. This is, I don't know if I'm going to catch up to Ricardo, but go try. Actually, yeah, I need to put a brake bias back a bit. And by a tiny bit there. That's exceeded check limits. Thank you, game. 
God blimey. I I did not know when uh, where my TRS was actually on or not. Jesus. Come on, Ricardo. Oh my god, let her run. Hmm. I see there's something wrong with this top five. Worst driver is missing a teammate. Oh wait, never mind, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, sorry. <laughs> was over I was like my top four, not top five. God damn it. I realized that every, like Red Bulls and Mercedes are are in top four. And I thought I was, yeah, the cut out just my bad, sorry. <laughs> okay, I think we can just chill now. But there is no way I'm actually gonna get Norris. No way. Oh, I need like a stand up after this. My back is dying. My hands as well. I like watching a cutscene, so the cutscenes are really, really nice. Are we like, I guess we're kind of halfway through the season? Oh no, sorry. Not after. I don't really have to be hungry yet. Max was happening, of course. Wing wings. Wins at the, Austri oh, the Austrian Grand Prix. God, it really is just like real life. Sappin's just winning every single race now. Oh, God. Good job, Cody's. Uh, I guess we're going to come home sixth place, which is not too bad, and I need a stretch. creeping in on track too. Well, if you believe the rumors, the Aston Martin camp is not the happiest of places right now. Yeah, and that can affect even the most experienced of drivers. I just hope Jackson gets his act together. He's a promising talent and he's much better than this. Oh, Jesus, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I'll get Drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for- Shut up. How long? Please tell me how long. I just want to complete this and I'm done. I'm going onto my PC and probably watching some YouTube before I play some Valorant. With some people. I don't know who though. But yeah. Is there going to be another cutscene? Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Ugh. Today's race certainly had its ups and downs for you, Casper. Are you pleased with that performance? Uh... Yeah, it wasn't easy today. I somehow kept finding myself in the wrong place at the wrong time, so... Really happy to salvage some points. The safety car gave me a good opportunity to turn things around. Shut up! Overall, yeah. 
Speaking of the safety car, Devin Butler has gone on record calling you lucky to get the result you did. Did luck come into it today? Um. Oh. Hmm. Shit. Hmm. Ah, okay, fuck it. A bit of luck never hurt anyone, did it? Yeah, the safety car was really helpful for me. I discussed a couple of things with the team, and I managed to take my chances afterwards. It played a big role in the result today. Teammate Aiden Jackson was forced to retire today. Would you say he's going through a bit of a rough patch? Huh. Uh. Yeah, Fuck it. I'm not sure what the problem was for him today, but he's really got to turn it around for the good of the team. You need both drivers bringing points in, not just one. Great. That's, That's going to spark some controversy. <laughs> That's going to spark a lot of controversy. That's all right, though. Let's we'll see what. The safety car proved integral for Ackerman as it helped him. Um, as it helped him turn a poor start into a, to an impressive top 10 finish. Yes, in sixth place somehow. <laughs> and some very, very epic um, drives, I just want to say as well. Uh... Ryan. Are you busy? Well, actually... Look, I need you to come to the office. Can you pop by now? Why? What's going on? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I'll tell you all about it when you get here. Can't you just tell me now? No. Thanks so much, Gasper. Really appreciate it. No. <laughs> okay, you just got cock blocked. Okay. Mate. Mate. Okay. Have you seen what has happened in the story mode? It kind of makes sense that I had to take a little dig at him. How about you fuck off? Casper. Ooh. What's going on? We need to clear something up. Take a seat. Clear what up? Aiden thinks it's his fault that you're retiring. I'm sorry, Casper. I do respect you. Quite a lot, in fact. And I don't want you to retire. I didn't mean the things that I said. And I want you to know that if you're retiring because of me, I'll... Will you tell him? This anxiety, it's no good for his performance. I'm not retiring because of you. Everyone says... I'm not retiring because of you. Can I go now? No. <laughs> Can I go now? You're going to give him two minutes of your time. Oh, Brian, what am I? His therapist. Two minutes, Casper. See, now you know why I gave him a little dig at him. <laughs> kind of funny, though. Everyone said Everyone's an idiot. Look, I'm not retiring because of you. I told Brian after Zandvoort. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. It's tough. Yeah. Can be. The press. Social media. I don't know. How do you deal with it all? Listen. There's only a handful of us in the whole world who get to do what we do. Yeah. A handful. You deal with it by never forgetting how lucky you are to be here. Understand? Never forget. Hey, Casper. Yeah? Do you ever forget? Sometimes. Sometimes we all do.
Oh. <laughs> Belgium Grand Prix as of the 2021 season rolls on. The F1 grid moves to historic Spa Francorchamps. With Casper Akame sustaining his recent run of form, Aston Martin hopes that both of his drivers can maintain this level of performance. We'll see. Is it going to be another crash? Is there, what else is there going to be? What a race we have in store for us today with a competitive field ready to do battle once again. Hold on to the edge of your seat. It's time for another Formula One Grand Prix. Spa-Francorchamps then, a historic 19-corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here, and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. With the race oh, okay. <laughs> starting, here's what today's grid I look, I didn't press anything, okay? Superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> I did not do anything. Road. Looking down the rest of the group. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Bottas, Norris, Sergio Perez, and Ricardo, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Sainz, and Pierre oh, For Gassi. fuck's sake, they're gonna put me down like an 18th. Ackerman, okay, no, no. Esteban Ocon and Butler. Jackson, Russell, Yuki Sonoda, and Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. I would about to say, if they, if they actually do put me in 18, that would be pissed. Ah, shit. Rain. Well, fuck. Oh, well then. Let's try and do this. Oh, thanks, Alonso. No, it's Ocon, sorry. Whoops. Oh my god! <laughs> Who has come out? Jesus Christ, that was close. I saw Alonso going side by side with me. I was like, oh no, this is not going to go well. Fuck. Finishing in the top five. How am I supposed to do that? Okay. Well, it's gonna be raining as well, so I'm a, I'm a terrible wet driver. Okay. You know me actually good. I think at some point we should maybe play as Devin Butler. That will be pretty cool. Because he's obviously like in a different team and well he is with Kimmy. It's like he can obviously like get like get like interviews. I'm diving on gun stars now. Okay, oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Spinala. I'm gonna spin a lot is what it's like. Fuck no.
Give me in, no less. You dumbass! <laughs> Give me the space! I'm legit down the inside of you! What space? You don't understand! Okay. 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 Oh my god. Ricardo does not understand how to give the space. I'm turning as well so hard and it's not turning for me. Car. I just so bad jump. Who on? Still fucking streaming? Yes. I'm gonna try and complete the story mode. I think it'll take like four hours, and I'm already up to like 4:25. Oh God, it's rainy now, isn't it? So I'm not story mode, buddy. I want to complete this. And I'll be done for the for the day, and maybe stream another time, maybe. Oh my god, I hate the rain. Okay, when do I okay, when do you pit when do I when do I wanna pit? No, it should not be available. It's rain! Can you not see FIA? Oh my god, I'm pulling. I'm pulling. I'm actually pulling. Jesus. Okay, hang on. Oh my god. Ricardo. 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 <laughs> Again, that was a bit aggressive of me. I have to agree. I I do have to agree. That was a bit aggressive. Shit. Bro, just light break on Rekha. Shut up, Jeff! I died, lol. Okay. It's all good now. I'm all good. I just need to hope that the track doesn't fucking kill me. Oh my god. I want you to try actually driving on the wet in dry tires and soft compound. <laughs> there it is. The RS disabled. Okay. On the wheel. Okay. Nah, I'm on Xbox. I can't really. Oi! There we go. I can't really. I just put now, I don't fucking care. Ooh! <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna kill someone. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm on Xbox, so I'm not on PC. He made some. Oh, I'm lucky for you, buddy. Oh, I'm inside of, um,. Gasly. For some reason is second second driver. Are you sure? Okay, let's try and do some wet weather driving. And let's not die as well, wouldn't that be a great idea? Is this effectively for- no, it's not effectively for us.
Atifi, get out of the way, you fuck. Okay, that also works. Yeah, we're cut. Yeah. Um, I want this up the road. Okay. Shoot me. Goodbye. Give me the sp <laughs> Just yield it. I think so. I jump bot ass. Does that mean I'm effectively third place? Is that what that means? I'm effectively third place? I don't know though. I think so. I don't know what that sound was. Yeah, effectively third place. E. This bot has had a miserable pit stop. Fuck. <laughs> if bot has a miserable pit stop, it just dies. Try this again, not spin out. If I just go out down to third gear, actually. Third gear means I have more grip. There we go. Is Lawrence Stroll with BWT or Aston Martin? Lawrence Stroll, he is the... Well, he's... Part of Aston Martin and Racing Point. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> I mean, there is, I mean, there is a character named Jack here, if you're wondering, James, so. But, um, yeah, so he went to Aston Martin because he now owns, I think he owns shares of Aston Martin. So, yeah. Another podium coming up. Second podium for uh, second podium for Casper Ackerman. If I can even <laughs> make the car drive well, I'm gonna go down to third gear. I can't be bothered to go down to second gear. It might be slower, but it's better just for traction. Is now corners. There we go. Why? Is it that wet? Oh, fuck. I feel like it's not that wet. It's not that wet. It's very intermediate. I don't know what you're on about. I'm t definitely not putting the accelerator on that. That happens.
Oh fuck. <laughs> Bit too wide there. Are they also pitting? Yes they are. Okay. So I guess I also have to pit them. Oh no. Come on, car. Get into the pits. We must go. Yeah, fuck. What the fuck in the shit? <laughs> Hang on. Wait a fucking minute. Is the pit road that slippery? Track isn't that bad, but pit road is like, I'm gonna kill someone. There you go. That's better. Oh my god, I thought, I actually thought I was gonna cut Hamilton. <laughs> Okay, not that bad, not that bad, not that bad of a pit. Warming up, there we go. I'm off. Gonna just go full power now on the ERS. Okay. Oh shit! Oh, that was a good save. and smooth. Oi. God, that paint, the curb. Who is Aiden, actually? My God, he's like really far down in the order. Can he actually not do weather racing? Easy as hell. Okay. <laughs> Just wait for like, in, in, in the interviews game, you're like, so, so, do you have any tips for Aiden on weather on weather driving? I'm like, ah, oh, cock. That bump, Jesus! I almost killed me. Power. Oh, I did it. Here what? That's one way to warm up the tires. I, I was actually not expecting to say that. Oh crap. Actually, oi! Okay, I could not save that. <laughs> I can save the rest, I cannot save that. 
I guess I have a pirouette. I just. Mm, it's weird. Yeah, break now. Oh my god. The steering is weird. So I'm really. Okay, so I need to go on third gear straight away. Okay. Fucking serious. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> this is what I call fail. Um, failing. Epic fail. There you go. Buddy. There I go. <laughs> I want to use Rich Mix. Oh, I'm so sad. I cannot use Rich Mix, I'm so sad. Oh my god! Out. <laughs> Oi, Shazzy! I don't know what I just said there, but I said something. Go. Oh god. That's the grass. So now we're halfway through the season officially. I feel like next is gonna be like Monza or some crap. 
That's just my guess. I don't actually really know though. See how much we need. Well, see how much left is in this story mode. I feel like I'm near completion. I've actually never played an F1 game non-stop like this, like, holy shit. Bah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Well, it doesn't matter. The final lap anyways as I go into the grass like an idiot because I looked at chat. Max is sapping, of course, wins this race. Lewis Hamilton second, and I'm gonna come around and finish. A very deserving third place. Slowly of the bus chicane. After third gear. Rev it up. Ooh. God. Bum, bum, Another bum. top five finish for Aston Martin. Amongst the drama ants, they've been quietly racking up some good points. Yeah, it's caught me off guard a little bit, actually. When you look at the table, you realise they're not doing as badly as you might think. Aston Martin has been nothing if not entertaining this season, for good or bad. It'll be interesting to see how they fare by the end of the year. You didn't even say bad, you said ill. What the fuck? Shut up. Oh my god, oh my god. My finger. Maybe yeah, I'm a pinky. Ouch. It's alright though. Despite the difficult situation uh, conditions, Katz Backerman continue to impress the Belgian Grand Prix as he achieve another top five finish. Actually top three in a podium, actually. Uh Oh shit, I should probably press A. That's a good idea, isn't it? All I'm saying is that the team are back in the mix this season. That's how good you've done. Yeah. You're ending your career on a high just like you wanted. You really couldn't ask for much better. You want one? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. What? I'm nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You haven't driven like this in ages. You're out there having a great time. You're raking in the points, but you're doing your moody face. I'm not doing my moody face. Stop that. Like this. Okay. It's Aiden. What about him? Well, he's still not right. He's moping around, anxious, apologetic. I think he's struggling. I thought you were going to ignore him. Yeah, but he's just a kid. He needs support. From you? So, how many races have I got left? What's this all about, Cass? Let's say that um, I've got three or four months left in F1. What if... Go on. Nah, forget it. No, what? You laugh at me. Promise not to. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> what does? What if I can... Oh my god. What? You've gone soft, haven't you? I knew you'd make fun of me. You want to make the F1 world a better place before you retire. You want to help the team, help aid in your own career be damned. And what if I did? So Casper Ackerman does have a heart after all. I'll alert the media. No, no, Zoe, I'm serious. What if I did? What could you do? Well, Mercedes has got a, a seat coming up next season. 
Some say they might even sign him. That is his dream. And you think you could help? I honestly don't know. Oh. Change of heart. A team in trouble. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, no, I think I'm going to retire. <laughs> Russian Grand Prix, with an impressive run-up form behind him. They renewed focus, Kasper Ackerman and Aston Martin are hoping and they can continue to build on this performance as they head to the Russian Grand Prix in Sochi and into the final third of the 2021 calendar. center quickly what's the issue the team are just finishing up going over the data from p3 they want to confirm some aspects of the tire strategy with you it's a bit late for that isn't it we won't do anything you're not comfortable with okay let, let me just finish up here we'll be waiting uh, whenever you're ready thanks brian hmm okay um <laughs> oh my god, stop talking about retirement. I already know about retirement. With a few laps remaining, Ackerman has found his Aston Martin outperforming many of the cars on the grid. An alternate tie strategy appears to have put Ackerman in the perfect position to challenge for an even greater finishing position, and even a chance at the fastest lap. Okay. I was clicked up to five five hours. I think this is my longest stream. I think. <laughs> Whether you guys are actually still here, if you are, then thank you. Very much appreciate it. I mean, laps five laps are made. Oi! I think it was Gasly. I need to get Fossil's lap, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> I kill Sonoda. So do I need to get Fossil's lap only? Only Fossil's lap? Finish, oh, uh, Fossil's lap and top 10 finish, okay. Like how short the races are. Pretty nice. Deco. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, shoot me. Nah, that's just the uh, story mode. Yeah, story mode's like that. Where are you coming? Where are you coming? I'm coming 12. Oh, you are coming 12? Yeah. I just... 12, you're coming 12? Yeah. It, yeah, that's just had like, the story mode. It's just, what's there, that's yeah, all. Sort of... Not really my fault. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I'm only well. That, well, that's just a back mark of oh. that one. Yeah. In this race, I saw around. Oh, I don't know. Say fourteenth. Move. Oh, what a move! It's going to do a Danny Rick die bomb. Oh, what another move! There we go. No, they can. Oh, they can. Risk of damage, yeah. Your damage? No. Jesus. 231, 232, 285, 252. It's more racing, uh, in my opinion. It's more racing than team management. If you want to do team management, you can go to my team. Move!
Fuck you, Perez, you dickhead. Basically, if you don't know, I need to basically get Fastest Lap, and I haven't gotten it yet because of dickhead Perez. And I also finished in the top 10 as well. I was just pushing like hell. I don't care. Fuck you, Perez, you dickhead. God. Oh my god. Dickhead. Yeah, there's a lot of team management here. Fuck you, Perez. I don't care. Yeah, last year it was just because of F like, it was just because of my team. That's why. But now the yeah, but now because of um, the story mode, I think it's definitely a lot better. Russell, move.
Ah! Uh, <laughs> I was pushing as hard as I can. Jackson, move. Let me by. Thank you. Jesus! What was that? <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Oh, thank God. Oh. Finally. <laughs> that should have not been longer, but because Peros was like, I'm going to go fast slapping you. Fuck you. That's quite some achievement for Aston Martin's Casper Ackerman getting the fastest lap out. Yeah, it's not often you see any team outside the top three pick up that extra point. Aston Martin went with what looked like an aggressive tyre strategy, but it paid off for them. Incredible, really. Aston Martin now very much in the mix for a strong midfield finish this season. And who knows, they might even be eyeing up fourth place. They'll be delighted. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some inc- Doggo is with me. Hello, Gizmo. Hello, Gizzy. You're cute dog, aren't you? Aston Martin employs an alternative strategy that pays off, allowing Kasper Ackerman to seal not only a top 10 finish position, but also the first lap of the race in Sochi. was also top 5 as well. No cutting? That's that. Oh my god, the dog is right there, I can't get that. What is this? Who is this, Brian? Can I accept? Brian. Cass, meant to say, nice work on that fastest lap. That's a welcome point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the team did well. Well, you drove the thing, Cass. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, there are rumours you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow. Put my mind at rest, would you? I'm coming okay. to the team dinner, Brian. Beautiful place we booked. Reason to celebrate. You're gonna love it. Is Zoe still coming? Yeah, she wouldn't miss it. 
Terrific. Wonderful. Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. Okay. Tires. Uh, oh my god, who? Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Hey, hey, everyone's talking about the team dinner. We're still going, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, Cass. You'll miss these things when they're gone. Hmm. We'll see. Why did I marry such a miserable man? Because he makes up for it with his charm. Hmm, that's not what I heard. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear in the news. What are you up to? Just emails and stuff. Okay. I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you there. Bye. Oof. Okay. Tires. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. Fuck off. I don't want to throw the ball currently, dog. Oh, that's my team dinner. Uh, with another successful race weekend behind them, the team at Asimana to hold their annual team dinner. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, uh, Casper. You will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening. And let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. Yeah? I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, eh? You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper. Hey. Where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. <laughs> this is an awkward um, uh, dinner. Very awkward. <laughs> Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss. I don't care what you'd rather, Aiden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abby Dabby. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah. Hence the frosty reception. Well, everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you aiding me. I just... I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. No. He wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. <laughs> it would be funny if he wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> you can apologize to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? 
Perak gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the Perak. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the center of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler. And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? Look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada. And how much easier has he added to this all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Oof. Yes, I said oof. 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 Now woof, oof. Christ, man. Right, hey, mom. Good job. The team's chance of a fourth place in the Constructors' Championship still alive, and with their fractious relationship and now behind them, the Aston Martin teammates are determined to, to show the motorsport world what they can really do. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires with all the S's. Yeah, happens. I'm aware. That's why I'm not gonna do any of the zoom calls because they're useless. <laughs> do you mind if I join you for a moment? They they're just useless to me. I'd rather actually do the work and not sit around than just listen to a teacher babble over. That's all. In my opinion, that's all. They want us to push for four. What? For a male catchable. Butler's mm -hmm. having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Mercedes. What the is the, fuck is the ball? Yeah. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It is. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but... Thanks. Well, we work together. Help each other out, that's all we can do. Then let's do that. Yeah. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce. Mm hmm. It was interesting. Uh Oh god, he's calling me. Aiden. Aiden, Casper, hey, have you got a moment? Yeah, of course. That camber adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. Those tires in a better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside. Where'd you put the ball this time? Oh my god, I'm... Uh, two things at once. Where's the ball? As I just got dust. Where's the ball? Yes, you find the ball. Okay. You find the ball while I try and do this, okay? Mid-race, with several laps remaining, Ackerman sets his heart sets his sights on both Alpha Mayo drivers in an effort to snatch some much-needed points yeah. from the championship rivals. Okay, pass it to me, hand. Thank you. Mm. 
<laughs> I guess I'll come out to the end. Very close to it. Okay, I'll go. Jesus Christ, Japan looks different. Okay, dogs, I can't throw the ball. Okay? I cannot throw the ball. Oh, there's a sector. Okay. If you're any asses, huh? Oh my god, they've actually changed Suzuka. I love it. No, dogs, I can't do it for you, I'm sorry. The dogs are trying to make me throw the ball for them. Oh, shizer! That was close. God, the sky is really weird to me. Move! <laughs> I'm resigned that one. Shite fuck! <laughs> oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I am actually shit. Me a geo. Okay, I got one. That will definitely slow him down. Wait, hang on. Are you telling me that Alpha and Mayo are doing that good? Is that what you're telling me, game? Okay.
Oh, I saved it. Mayor Jackson. God, this story mode is actually amazing. I don't know how much any of praise is, but it's possibly one of the best story modes I've ever done in my life. I haven't done a lot of story modes, but this is possibly the best one. Definitely feel the drama and the tension between these two drivers. And you can, uh, like, you can, you can, like, imagine that you're there, like, you're the driver that you're controlling. And you can, like, understand their frustration and everything. So... Come on, Aiden. Let me back. Aiden! Thank you. I'm so sorry, Aiden. Power, I need more power. <laughs> no, I got him. I know. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, so is anyone really surprised that Butler lied? Nope. <laughs> it didn't say finishing the points. It said beat both. It, it, yeah, it says beat both Alpha and Alpha and Mayor. So basically, I could just hold them up, <laughs> and everyone else could just pass them. Oh, you fuck! Oh shit, that's the gravel. And Gasly. It's a great game though, I love it. Into the grass I go. The 
Okay, I just need to do this two more times, and hopefully I'll be really. Uh, hopefully I'm done because I need to get. I need to get my dinner. <laughs> Actually, I'll get it right now. Hang on. Fuck. <laughs> Be back. I think you guys can still hear me. Okay. Oh, Shaisa. Come on, power. That's fine. Jesus, Sergio Perez wins the Japanese Grand Prix. I'm still trying to finish this. <laughs> I have time, obviously. I feel like next is probably going to be... I don't know. Say... Mexico? Maybe, maybe Brazil? Or really, or Abu Dhabi? Which I have to wait and see, really. Because I don't know what the next races are. No clue. Just trying to drive. He's out of the corner. and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Aston Martin continue to put the pressure on Alfa Romeo. That gap might still be a little too big to close, but for Aston Martin, it's very much game on. Yeah, when I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Aston Martin pegged to be competing with Alfa Romeo. Both Jackson and Ackerman <laughs> performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. But 
Can't they have put their differences behind them? Red Bull put up an outstanding... Day today. Oh Have my god, it. I don't care about these stupid interviews. Yeah, the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season, and the team is working really hard to keep up, so we're grateful for every point we earn. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Alfa Romeo. Is that something you're particularly focused on during the race? Absolutely. We're into the business end of the season now, and we want to climb as many places as we can. Right now, that means catching Alfa Romeo. So, any time we can put the pressure on a little, that's good for us. We asked Devin Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Aston Martin are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us any time soon. What's your response to that? Uh... Either left or right. I'm definitely not going there. Comment. I'll say. I'll just say that. I one. think it's my job to prove him wrong. Great. Well, that's everything. <clears throat> I love how like low frames it is. Holy shit! It's like thirty or twenty frames in that. <laughs> U.S. With the Amer with proving right here. Uh, with Aston Martin continuing to put together... What? No. Uh, continuing to put together an impressive run and form the gap between 4th and 5th place in the Constructors' Championship and continuing now. Is this what we're gonna do? Stories... Zoe? Daddy! Hey, Lil. Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> One or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lils? You are. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of like a normal, like... Oh. There she is. Except... Apparently, she enjoys hanging up on you these days. <laughs> so it seems. All set? Yeah, all set. The odds are shortening on the fourth place finish for Aston Martin. It's a shame. I enjoyed being the underdog. You've still got to beat Butler. We've still got to beat Alfa Romeo, you mean? That too, I guess. Right, you go and prepare. See ya. Bye. Uh, okay, may I say any? Let's have a look. Fellas! Sell out crowd this, ain't? Casper, I haven't seen you since you announced your retirement. No. Well, fair play to you, mate. Takes a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm, I'm just saying, you're a brave man. I'm paying you a compliment. Now you're saying I can't compete? Nah, I didn't mean it like that. This man, some have said that, uh, well, you're both your prime, that's all. That won't work anymore, Devon. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what won't work? We know what you've been saying about us. Oh, I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You know, I used to think you were just a gossip, Devon. Now I know you're a liar. <laughs> Oh, come on! You guys, you guys used to be so much more fun! We used to get into fights, take each other out of races. We all enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, you know, it was very entertaining. Now, you just mope around, bickering over who said what. A bit petty, to be honest, guys. Seriously, 
You're supposed to be role models. Yeah, I won't argue with you, Devon. I won't win. Yeah, you do seem to struggle a bit with winning, to be fair. Yeah. And maybe you are right. Maybe I am past it. But he's not. And he's the better driver. What, the rookie? He's only just got here. You do know the Mercedes seat is mine. The contract's as good as signed. There's just one problem with that, Demon. Huh? Enlighten me. I don't believe a word you say anymore. Tell them, mate. Uh, mate? I don't know who this is going to. <laughs> oh. Alright. Well, Butler's mind games no longer have any effect. Ackerman sets out to take the race directly to the man who caused the rift between the two teammates at Aston Martin. Alright. Oh god, I just realized it's gonna be like the last races. It that's just uh cock. Okay. Hopefully they're all nice and quick. Hopefully. Not the fuck. Seven laps in me. <laughs> Takes him out. Ninth place. Also, how can Butler be in be, be in the Mercedes City even though he's driving for a Ferrari team? In the shambles, aren't you, buddy? Oh! Sorry, guys, late. I love how oh, fucking Norris and Ocon was in the background as well. It's also really kind of funny. Thank you, Latifi. Come on, full on power. Come on. Where is he? There he is. Okay. One five one one three four one one eight one nine one one zero eight one five one. Oh. 
That was a bit of an aggressive move. Shut up! I want to, well, I don't want to know where, where he is. Shut up, Jeff! Oh, Jeff is so annoying. Oh, crap. I don't care. Come here! <laughs> Oh, I was not even looking because I looked at chat. My bad. Oh shit. Get by to ya. Dive it down the inside. <laughs> Switch back a roo. Shoot me, move. <clears throat> Fuck, I was not even looking out where I was. Oh, chat. Uh. <laughs> My fault. Thank you. Shut up. Oh my god. I wish I could just tell Jeff to just shut up. Actually, I think I can now.
Oh. Good, you should copy that, because it's just annoying as hell. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate here, yeah. Here, you're just babbling on my in my ear. It's annoying. off. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Get to Abu Dhabi. I never wanted to go to Abu Dhabi. This is like like the track in my life. Let's get this over done with, you know. But it's all right. Pretty good story, Marcus. Still, anyways. Whoops. Oh god. Fuck. Oh. Thank you, Mazapin. Hamilton has won the Amer uh, USA Grand Prix. Oh, the United States Grand Prix. There you go. Well, let's say the American Grand Prix. I'm like, well, oh, that sounds. That's not right. I don't shift twice. I don't even care about beating Jackson. I don't even care about beating Butler. Eighth place. So glad that Jeff isn't talking to me. Annoying bastard. Well, this season promises to end in quite the dramatic fashion. The tussle for the top continues, but in the midfield, Aston Martin very much closing the gap on Alfa Romeo. Both teams have had a terrific season. Butler and Jackson rumored to be in the running for that open Mercedes seat too. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. If you're anything like us, you won't want the season to end but end it must. From here on in, every second of every lap counts. What a riveting season it's been. Okay. Mercedes are on top form once again oh God. after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that po-
that was an exciting race from our oh my god let's have yours yet another victory over rivals alfa romeo today casper and more Shut speculation up. over whether or not you can steal that fourth place what do you have to say about that Go, um, word, <laughs> um, word, hello, game, game, are you okay, game, game, Your retirement oh. rules Jesus, <laughs> is that something you think about? I know. I've been eating it. You didn't even What? You didn't even Oh, thank you. I mean, you weren't even there. I know. You fixed me while I took life. Ugh. Forward to your retirement. How will you spend it? Um. Okay, I guess I I, I guess Casper is just uh mute straight away. So that's all right. Part of me. Um. He's actually permanently muted. Appreciate your time. Uh, Ackerman manages to beat Butler at the US Grand Prix. In earning much needed championship points for Aston Martin as they continue to snap at the, the heels of, of their rivals at Alfa Romeo. Um, to answer your question about PC, no, I'm not going to get out my PC. I'm only going to get out my Xbox. Because I can't really connect, well, I probably can, but it'll be just a pain in the ass just to get, just to take off my, well, just take the, like, the wheel and the pedals off the rig. Hey, Casper, hey, we're closing in on Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Good race out there. I think we can do it, Casper. I think it's on. You know it's not going to be easy, right? Well, the fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Just wanted to say congrats. Yeah, you too. See ya. Bye. Yeah, I'm not gonna get out my I'm all please Lou. Um we just cut. <laughs> Who else is calling Oh, okay. Brian. Casper! Debrief has been put back 10 minutes, so you've got a little more time. Okay, thanks. Great race out there today. Who'd have thought we'd been pushing for fourth just a few months ago? Yeah, well, you know what they say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. Whoa, brilliant. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> That's inspiring is what that is. You keep fighting those fights, Casper. See you at the debrief. <laughs> yeah, bye, Brian. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Hyper mode. Um. Jesus. Uh. Okay. Let's continue. I guess. Oh my god, it's Abu Dhabi! Yeah, 
It all comes down to this, the final race of the season. With the superb effort over... Oh, shit. Uh, with, with the superb effort over the back half of the year, Aston Martin have managed to find themselves within striking distance of Alfa Romeo, Devin Butler's team. Okay. Um... Who? Brian. Casper! Cass! Cassie boy! Cassie boy? A big day today. Huge. Yeah. The last race of your career. How does it feel? Well, I don't know. I guess I feel... Oh, I'm so excited. Let me tell you. Oh, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm excited for my retirement. Oh, you're gonna be great out there today. I can feel it in my bones. You're gonna be terrific. Just remember what I taught you. Hmm. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I sure will miss you, Cass. Let's go out with a bang, eh? Not literally. <laughs> right. I'll leave you to it. Be brilliant. Be wonderful. Good luck. I think Brian needs a chill bit. I think he's had too much. You keep watching, babe. Oh my god, who now? <laughs> Hello? Hey Cass, how's it going? Yeah, fine. Just a little bit... Sad? Yeah, maybe. How's Lils? She's good. We're just grabbing an early lunch. Do you want to talk to Daddy? Why aren't you racing anymore, Daddy? Well, because Daddy's retiring. Can I retire? <laughs> you need a job first, Lily. Hey, who's your favorite driver? <laughs> I like Aiden. Aiden? Oh. Did mommy tell you to say that? <laughs> Can you put her back on the phone? Aiden Jackson. Bye, Daddy. No, no, just hang on, Lily. Hello? Aiden Jackson. <laughs> yeah, still doing it. I'm almost complete, actually. You want to finish? Yeah. I think this is the final one. Oh. Aiden. Hey, Casper. How's it going? Yeah, fine. You okay? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just wanted to wish you well, really, and say thank you. You know, for everything. Hey, you've got nothing to thank you for. <laughs> After doggies. I'm sorry. Mm, I think we've apologized enough by now. I guess we have. So, the last race of an incredible career. I'll be honored to witness it. Thanks, Aiden. I'll see you down there. See you down there. The doggies, bruh. <laughs> okay. Well, final race of the season. Knowing they need to finish ahead of both Alpha and Mayo drivers, Casper Ackerman makes a push up the pack as he starts his slice of Devon Butler, the fourth place in the Constructors' Championship. But where the hell was... Where is... Is there an online version? There is online. There is online on this. So you can verse other RR people. Yeah. So it is... Yeah. So there is on... Yeah, so there is online on this game. Welcome to Abu Dhabi and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina circuit. This is a track known for its long, long back straight and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking. No, it doesn't. What are you on about, Crofty? We have 21 corners here at the Yas Marina circuit, 12 to the left and 9 to the right. It's a total lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are two long back straights opening up some passing opportunities into the braking zones. And we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles an hour. Aston Martin could still catch Alfa Romeo today, but it's a pretty tall order. And to you still surprised they are where they are? I am to be honest, yeah. When you look back at how they finished last season, the fight they had in Canada, the antagonism on and off track, these two really weren't getting on. I think a lot of people, myself included, had written them off. Well, they've been nothing if not surprising, the Aston Martin pair. Of course, neither driver may be with them next season. Yeah, it's Ackerman's last race today. I'll certainly be sorry to see him go. And they say Jackson and Mercedes are in talks, so who knows? Well, Mercedes continue to be cagey about that open seat for next season, claiming that no decision's been made yet, and they'll see how this season concludes first. Let's That's run kind of funny because it makes sense because it's real life as well. Exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, 
Pierre Gasly and Fernando Alonso. Leclerc, Butler, Norris and Carlos Sainz. Sonoda, Ackerman, Aidan Jackson and Giovinazzi. Mazepin, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo and Mick Schumacher. Latifi and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Sorry, but why does Ackerman look like a bloody... Oh. Oh. Plenty of overtakes from this man, Ackerman, today. And here's another one to chalk off. This guy shouldn't be retiring from Formula One. And what's happening here? It looks like Giovinazzi's retiring. And I'm not sure what the issue is, but there's a potential opportunity here for Aston Martin, as it seems that Devon Butler's been left alone to see off the competition. And he's not having the best of days, Crofty. A few mistakes creeping in here and there, a few lockups. This race isn't over yet. God, those cutscenes are amazing. The beautiful cutscenes. Do I have to pit? No, I don't. Okay. Jesus, I hate this part. Still hate it, still hate it, still hate it. Glad I'm glad they're getting rid of it. Well, Haas is actually, well, Haas this time, they're actually um, in, the, in the last row, so. Yeah. Shut up! I don't want to mute you again, mate. Come on. Let me, let me concentrate. Fucking Gasly. Move! A warning collision with Gazla. I didn't even touch him. Oh, God, he's closing. Nope. Shut up. Oh my god, it's so bumpy. Running over curves is my favorite. Oh my god, it's again. I need to. Oh, I know, like it's a VRS. That makes sense now.
Schatz ab. Glad we're changing it. <clears throat> Such a shit ass track, oh my god, I hide it. Oh my god. Oi, Scheiße. Okay. Might need to check something. Actually, well, I will be checking something soon. So, I, 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 I'm gonna... Balls the game at some point, I need it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, Butler! You fuck. Give him a little love tap. Captain. So Aston Martin potentially on track to really upset Alfa Romeo here with Ackerman leading Butler and Jackson not too far behind. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. He's trying to win that race back, but which way is he going to go? Down the inside he goes. Oh. That's really aggressive from Devon Butler. He sends both cars spinning out. Butler into the barrier. And that looks to be the end of the race for him. Too late on the brakes. I'm sure the stewards will be looking at this one after the race. Oh. But the Aston Martin car still moving. The Dutchman looks to be continuing, Ant. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. But he has suffered significant damage. There are points still up for grabs today, though, don't forget. Well, that is significant. But can Casper Ackerman's Aston Martin car finish? You OK, Casper? The data they sent suggests the car is compromised. That's no, fine. I can finish. Uh, Butler's out of the race. Butler's out, we have a shot. Jackson's closing fast, Casper. Okay. You need to go for third aid. Uh, Bobby, third. What about Casper? What, we let Aiden pass? Let Aiden pass. Do the best you can, Casper. How's the car? Good enough. Will you give a message to Aiden? Okay, I think I'm now Aiden Jackson. Yes, I am. Podium. Fuck, okay. 
Oh my god. Okay, I need to quickly do this. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. George Russell, fastest lap. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Let's try and do this. What a great way to end it off. Racing as Aiden Jackson. So, who is in third? I don't know who's in third. A Mercedes. Oh, shit. Okay. I was gonna guess it's Bottas? I can't. Come in, Leclerc. Oh, shit. Fucking. There you go. Come on, I need more of your car. Come on. What a great turn of events, I just want to say. Holy shit. Move Perez. That's all right. Yeah, it's Bottas. Okay, that's why I thought it is Bottas. So do I just get it? Okay, I guess I'll just get a podium no matter what because but Akam is up to sixth place, so. That'll be still enough, wouldn't it? Just depends on how far they are, though. Because they don't say, like, how far Alpha Romeo are, unless, it, unless it's in the email. If it's in the email, then that makes sense, but that's all right. Come here, Bottas. I'm gonna replace your. Well, Aiden is gonna replace your seat. Oh my god. Shit. Oh my god.
And they collide! Mm, I might have cut the corner there. Okay, now just chill. All, we, all I need to do is just chill. And then I'll be done. Story mode will be then over, I think. Because there'll be no F1 2022 because the regulations aren't. Oh, fuck. Oh, he just jumped the curb. I saw the car grab in the air. Oh. We bang wheels! <laughs> We still have time. Ultima Sapin being 10 seconds ahead seems realistic. Yes, it seems very realistic. Oi. Thanks, Jeff. I swear those two are just always so much farther ahead in the race. Yeah, that's true. They're just both great drivers. I come in as I pass Perez, and I think that we definitely have enough now to pass Alfa Romeo in fourth of the championship. So does that mean that McLaren is third? Or Alpine? Will it show the standings? Hopefully. Let's see how unrealistic it is. Lewis Hamilton has won the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Oh shit. And Ana Jackson is gonna come home at third place. Was that Jeff? And they've done it! What a season this has been for Aston Martin! Even a race or two ago, you wouldn't have believed it, but they finished fourth in the constructors. If the rumours are to be believed, they'll be reluctant now to let young Aiden Jackson go. What a talent he's proved to be. And an incredible end to an incredible career for Kasper Ackerman, who's <laughs> somehow found his way back into the race after that nasty scrape with Butler. What a race here in Abu Dhabi. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hey. Kasper! We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? No. What happened? No, I'll let you see it for yourself. And Butler's okay? Most ego, perhaps. <laughs> anyway, I just came to congratulate you all. And bid you a fond farewell. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you later. We'll celebrate. Uh, stay for a bit. No, no, no. Oh, come on. What are they going to do? Discipline you? This isn't my victory, Casper. This is ours. Some race. Yeah, some race. You know, you had us all worried for a moment. Brian, when have I ever let you down? You really want me to answer that? 
Best not. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Now the pleasure has been mine, Brian. Heck of a career you've had, Cass. Casper! And I think you'll want to. Casper! Casper! For heaven's sake, man, get out there. You've earned it. Toto. That's it. That's oil. Uh, yeah. This was actually amazing. Possibly the best story mode ever. And I'm really happy, um, that... You guys obviously got to, um, be there. That was a really great story mode, I just want to say. A lot of ups and downs, roller coaster. It was amazing. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the... Enjoyed that as much as I did. And I'll be uploading it to YouTube and all that other stuff. But, until then, take care. Goodbye.